Winter camping is no joke, y'all. While it can be a ton of fun, it's also important to know what the heck you're doing, of course, while you're having fun. So buckle up and get ready for some epic winter camping and surviving some rough snowstorms. And you tell us at the end if this is something you would do. What? For the, I don't know, I guess it's, wow. Because I know before it said maybe like some flurries. Now it's saying winter storm warning remains in effect now from 4 a.m., 4 p.m. So basically all day kind of kicking off overnight. Oh, no. It's a, yeah, it's like heavy snow expected above 6,000 feet. And I'm 7,000 feet up now. Hi. All right, all right tomorrow, man. Man. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, all right. Take care of all that stuff quickly. I will. Love you. And there it is. All right, so I filled up the tank with gas, picked up some groceries, and now we're heading back up to Fletcher View. We had a great holiday uh, weekend, had a great holiday uh, down in Las Vegas, and it was great. So now we're heading back up to Fletcher View to kind of just soak in some more of the winter wonderland that's up there. We really do enjoy winter camping, get some work done up there, but I'm heading up right now by myself. So Dave is actually taking the car, which we had an appointment to get service. So he's doing all that stuff, getting service and taking care of some errands. Um, and we'll come up tomorrow. So I got the kitties with us who are hiding. Bailey was just sitting up front here. So we're gonna get there. I'm gonna set up by myself. Wow, I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna make them proud. I'm gonna back into that spot perfectly. <laughs> I'm gonna make them proud. So the last time I drove this desert snow on my own was when we were testing the heat out. I think I went to the Valley of Fire. I was kind of testing out the heat before we had a big trip coming up and I ran into a few little hiccups in the beginning but ended up being a great test minus the heat actually working now we know the heat works that's flawless so this time it's kind of weird it's still very weird not having like dave by my side and it's just weird you know especially driving this by myself and it's fine i mean i'm comfortable driving desert snow at this point but oof sometimes it's nice having your man next to you in case you know something goes wrong which we hope is not happening today all right, so we're not too much farther, about 2,000 more feet to climb. We're at 5,000 feet in elevation. And I'm already noticing like it's windier than the last time we were up here. And you can definitely see a lot more snow on the mountain, which is gonna be nice. So should be wonderful. Oh, he's gonna really love this. I think it's gonna be a, a fun experience to kind of be up there and I'm, I'm just gonna be more snow. Oh, that is cloudy central. All right, we better be careful. Oh, those clouds, look how low those clouds are. <laughs> I just passed 6,000 feet in elevation. All right, 6,000 feet up in elevation. The clouds are really low right now. I can see they're low. Ooh, are we in for something? Because it looks, and I have a weird keen sense. It smells like a snowstorm. I don't know, it just. All right, we are arriving here at Fletcher Campground and it looks a lot different today than it did the last time we are here. It actually looks like the clouds are really low and we may be in for a snowstorm. It looks like there was snow already. Wow, boy oh boy. Fun times, coming up. All right, I think the host is off duty, so I am gonna have to do this. First come, first serve, four. Yay, we'll take four. <laughs> Let's park this puppy. I am just, what? This is like, oh he, oh, um, this is, what this is awesome i did it one one take <laughs> i'm in i'm in i did it i did it high five high five high five high five wow like that that's like one of the benefits of having a smaller rig like this because what i did it but let me show you this park job hold on let's go outside all right see look at that look at that park job there's my power there's desert snow there's my little picnic ish area which right now looks totally drenched and so maybe it was raining. Might have been some rain up here. Snow mixed with rain, but that is such a great park job. All right, enough with the weather report. Look at this, look how beautiful this is right now. Although the clouds are awfully low, but I am close to the bathroom, which is nice and they're heated. So yay, good call for that. All right, time to set up. It's gonna be interesting, right, Macy? So look at her, she's so excited. It's gonna be very interesting today getting set up because we are such a routine. Dave and I have our own routine getting things set up that 
it's almost natural to start doing it that way. Now that I'm gonna be doing all of the setting up, it's gonna be interesting to see how we get this done. You oh, are you so ready to help me? Oh, you, oh, she's ready. Let's set up. Oh, mommy's little princess. Hi, she's excited. You see the snowy snows, the snowy snowies. You like the snowy snowies? I like the snowy snowies because you like the snowy snowies. <laughs> Cutie. All right. Before we get set up, Princess Bailey needs her water. She's like, yeah, I want some cold water. Yeah, our cats, they drink, bring water. <laughs> See? And she loves it. Hi, Kobe's. I'm gonna put up some lights just to have a little bit more light at night here but before I put out anything else like the rugs or my tablecloths I better check the weather first because if it's gonna like rain that's the last thing I want to get soaking wet are my uh, rugs as well as my tablecloth so it is freezing though it's probably dropped another two degrees right now so it's like 35 it's cold all right I better get the inside going Snacky, time for dinner. Okay, so before I pour myself a glass of wine, kitties are now fed. I am just gonna take a walk to see if there's any neighbors here, you know, just to know who's here, because right now it is just moi. I have not seen the host, which says he's host off duty, he's not here. And so far, every spot is empty. So maybe they know something I don't, like maybe we shouldn't be here. <laughs> of course, keep your eyes peeled, because I'm by myself and it's getting dark, so we don't want to roam too far. Not one person here. So January 3rd, someone's supposed to be here. First to the third, so they're already gone. It's close to the bathroom, but look, there's not one soul here. That's going all the way down. Oh my goodness. And those mountains that you before you could see, completely covered. Temperature's definitely dropping. So we might get some snow. Oh man, I definitely feel like I should get back there, pour myself a glass of wine. Okay, I'm going back far enough. There's no one here but moi right now. So it's time to wine, W-I-N-E, down. Maybe that host will come here, because if he doesn't, who's gonna be digging us out? I don't have a big enough shovel. Eh, let's not worry about that. First wine. All right. All right, let's give Dave a call see where we are at with the weather because let's see if we're right hey hey so okay so i'm sitting here with a glass of wine now and i am curious to know can you tell me what is the weather gonna look like up here because i smell snow <laughs> yeah, well hold on let me look yeah i'm curious because um i came up here and it just seems awfully the clouds are really low it's cold it was uh, like 38 degrees when i got here yeah i'm just looking oh my god there's a uh it says severe weather alert actually a winter storm warning what for the i don't know, i guess it's wow because i know before it said maybe like some flurries now it's saying winter storm warning remains in effect now from 4 a.m 4 p.m so basically all day kind of kicking off overnight oh no it says, yeah it's like heavy snow expected about six thousand feet and i'm seven thousand feet up now yeah, and it says between, it's above 7,000, it says 6 to 15 inches. Oh my but God. Wind gusts, wind gusts could be pretty high too. Se Damn. Seriously? Oh man, I think I should probably, I took out like the uh, chair and I was gonna like start, think about at least starting a fire. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do that tonight. I'm gonna keep everything sort of like inside if the wind is gonna be picking up. So oh sick. my gosh. And you're looking at this right from the weather. Uh. Yeah, no, yeah, so yeah, I'm looking, I just checked the weather and I'm hoping I can get up there still. Yeah, I don't know I if you can. I mean, come up until the morning, so I gotta, I gotta see how the roads are. 
Because they might, they might even like shut them down if it's this bad. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want you driving in like that. If it's going to be like that much of a wind gust and almost 15 inches right. of snow. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, a worst case scenario is I'm, I'm gonna have to just muster this um, by myself and then come back down once everything kind of opens up. Do you know what I mean? We might have to. I'm, let me, I'll keep tabs on the weather. Hopefully it's not too bad and I can make it. Oh no. Um, definitely, let's stay close up and touch the nose and- um, Yeah, I'm, I, what I'm gonna do right now is just go out and put the chair back in because if it's gonna snow, I may even bring the bear in because if it's gonna be like snowing in the morning, it's like, he's gonna be covered. That might be a bad idea. Yeah. All right, well, I love you. Love you, babe. I'll talk to you soon. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We could get up to 15 inches of snow, and he's not here. Ah! He left me alone. He left me all alone. Well, we have two cats. Oh, my God. And and technically, this is the first snow storm we've ever been in. Now, we've been in snow, but this is a... a a snowstorm and of course I'm gonna muster this by myself well I got you guys with me so yikes I better get those chairs in mm. Ugh, thank God for good wine Oof. okay so quick update the wind has picked up and so if we are gonna get into a blizzard I think we're gonna be okay I went grocery shopping for two. It looks like it's just gonna be me up here. And before coming up here, I filled the fresh water tanks about 75%. So that should get us through at least till storm and they can clear the roads. But uh, oh yeah, they said about 50 miles an hour wind. So I secured stuff outside. So it's time now for us to wind down. We got the heat, it's nice and cozy. Get ready for bed, watch a little bit of Netflix after I do a little bit of work. Right, Bobbies? Right, Missies? Got Missies. Here's Mommy's. You want you for baggies? Somebody's ready to probably play as soon as I turn up the lights. Anyway, good night, you guys. We'll see you in the morning. second one sec mm. you know there's nothing like that first sip of coffee to really make you think you can get through the day so woke up this morning you guys quick update and it is snowing and it's accumulating so it looks like the weatherman is right this time and uh, Dave's gonna sit tight because it looks like we're still in that winter storm warning and it's gonna be between 6 and 15 inches of snow so I'm gonna brave this alone up here with the kitties and you and we're gonna get through this so I feel a little bit better prepared uh, because we have food and I have food enough for two when I went shopping before coming up here. So I think it's time to get dressed and assess. Get dressed and assess. Get dressed and assess how much snow and what's going on. Anyway, good morning. Good morning, you two. Good morning, Bubby. So, okay, you're gonna hold down the fort. You're gonna make the bed today, right? You're in charge of making the bed. So I'm gonna be in charge of giving you a quick morning brushy. Yes, you like brushy because you're so fluffy. Mommy gives you a good brushy because you love it. You love morning brushies. Mm -hmm. brushy. Yes, you're gonna give me a roly polies. Yes. Oh, yes, mommy's cutie pies. Mommy's cutie pies. All right, I'll get you when you're rolling over next. Yeah, I like the brushing. I like when you brush my back. Nice. Gets rid of all that loose hair so I don't have hair balls. You know, I don't like to cough up hair balls in your bed. So keep brushing me, babe. Keep brushing me. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, there come the morning stretches. Say hello to everybody. Give kisses. Hello, everybody. Bailey says good morning. All right, mom's gonna get out in the snow and check it out out there. Here we go. All right, so I got me bag of winter clothes. Ah, uh, so you definitely need Ah, winter weather pants, which is like snow pants meets wind and rain. Check, you gotta make sure they still fit. Oh, ooh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, they still fit. <laughs> gloves, I right, have two pairs. I need the gloves that actually, these gloves that have hose in them. They're actually gloves meets mittens, so they're functional so I can work, and then if my hands get cold, I can cover them up. Like, hello, mitten. Hey, you man, you man, man, you 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 man. Gloves check, hat check, coffee check. All right, let's go check it out. Man, you man, you man, you man, you. Let's go outside. 
Now I have to go get my boots. Most important. Put where? Keep the head, the chest, the back, and the feet warm, and you're in good shape. Yeah, full force out in it. Now this place is definitely known, uh, I'm not sure if you've seen our last video, to have a, a lot of mountain lions, more than usual. The good thing about freshly packed snow is I can actually see prints um, before they get kind of either melted and I know exactly what they look like. So definitely gonna keep my eyes open for that. But this is just, whew, you can definitely feel the altitude because you're also up about 7,000 feet. But we are in a winter wonderland you and me, me alone here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And I think I hear the plows on the street. So they, they do a fairly good job here, I guess, keeping the streets clean, especially since you're kind of on this kind of incline, decline to keep things safe. You're on a mountain, you know, but it's just beautiful. The weather right now, and it's kind of a wetter snow. I can see it's gonna toughen up later on because it's about 35, 34 degrees. So it's a little bit of a wet snow, although it's accumulating pretty fast and it's supposed to continue on throughout the night. So yeah, this is where we're gonna be <laughs> for the next few nights. I gotta make do with it. I don't know, I don't know if I'll go snowshoeing without Dave by myself. Not sure how appealing that is, knowing what we know here. And the last time we were here, we are pretty freaking scared here in the mountain lion stories. And just hearing kind of creepy sounds, so not sure. Now this time in particular, we're alone. So they could be off in a distance and it's so quiet up there now because there's not a lot of foot traffic. I don't want to be that first pair of feet walking up there. I don't know, just saying. So if you're daring, and I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable because it's early on in the day, I don't know. I may do a little hike up there uh, tomorrow once the snow kind of finishes, but right now it's kind of this wet snow. So I feel like I'm getting drenched and it's getting cold, but there's a lot of cool spots and nooks that you can, if you're willing to, hike up. And once you make it to the top of that, there's this really sort of nice flat highlands that you can overlook the mountains and see some of the mountains up there. It's pretty cool, at a better view. All right, so that is about as high as I'm gonna go right now. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna start heading back towards desert snow. Um, maybe make some lunch and uh, shovel around the camp a little bit before it accumulates and gets too heavy where I'm not gonna be able to shovel at all. Especially since I don't have Dave, I'm strong, but he's stronger, just, just saying. But this is really beautiful and it's so peaceful right now, you know, I was pretty nervous at first, and now I'm realizing as long as I can sit tight, it doesn't look like there's gonna be any spots that are gonna fill up, which last time talking with the camp host, spots fill up pretty quickly here, but it's pretty empty. I actually just noticed we have a neighbor. He's way down there, or she's way down there, and uh, their cozy little spot. And uh, the host is here because look, just noticed there's someone who came in and plowed. And that's usually the host job. So things are looking somewhat up here, but we really haven't hit the I heard the wind's gonna pick up and it's gonna get a, accumulate quite a bit later on. So hopefully that's not the case, but if it is, I'll be back here live reporting to you here on Let's Turn It Up World. <laughs> it almost looks fake, like perfectly round balls. Almost like fake snow, but it's not. It's just that it's a little more dense, I guess, because of the altitude as well. And not as soft and fluffy, but almost like little tiny mini snowballs. Hey! And look at this desert snow in the snow, baby. Wow. How you feeling, big boy, your first snowstorm? You look fantastic. You look great. You look great, bud. <laughs> so I didn't go back. I'm kind of enjoying being out in the snow. So I want to show you something. So if you decide to come here to Fletcher View, you can actually just get a fee envelope. And it's kind of some of the spots are first come first serve, which is the one that I nabbed. And you're allowed up to 14 days. So as long as you have the funds for it, you can stay here up to third. Uh, 14 days and that fee is $33 for the small space kind of like the one that I have and then what you do is you just take the fee envelope here put your fee in your designated spot clip out your coupon put in front of your space and then you drop it into this little bin here the pay fee here bin just just in case you're thinking hey where is this place at it looks really beautiful and snowy and lovely yeah Fletcher 
View Campground. Okay, really quick, so I just connected with the camp host. You know, sometimes they have better radio systems and weather than, I don't know, most people. So I asked her, sorry, I'm coming like back uphill here, so I'm a little winded. Is the snow gonna hit 15 inches? She said, no, we'll probably get about seven inches here. It'll stop late tonight, but Lee Canyon, which is about 8,500 feet up, they're gonna get a foot of snow. That's a ski area. So that's crazy, that's crazy, but it's awesome. <laughs> So even though Dave cannot be here with us in the snow, Hubby can still be here with us in the snow. So let's call, let's FaceTime him. Let's give him a quick FaceTime. Hey, hey. what's up? Wow, it's really, wow, it's really coming down. Yeah, you see, look, it's all over my hat. Da -dun, da -na -na -na. Say hello to everybody. Hey. hey. <laughs> yes, it's coming down. So I was just telling everyone we're going to get about six to seven inches here, according to the host, but up about 8,500 feet in Lee Canyon, it's going to be about a foot of snow. I'm sorry you can't be here, I know, but it's better, it's safer that you don't. The roads are kind of really weird. I walked out and just took a look at them. Um, they're plowing, they're doing a great job plowing, but it's coming down as fast as they're plowing. And it's like thick, it's like, it's almost like snowball. See, there's the host. There he is in the back, there he goes. Say hi, Bob. <laughs> um, but it, it's, it's almost coming down like ice balls, little mini snowballs. Yeah. Hey, well. All right, anyway, I love you. I'm gonna go. Snow! We all miss you. Love you. <laughs> all right, love you. Bye. Wow, that was so cool, see? And it's it's gonna continue. I feel better. I feel a little better. I'm connected with him. I can speak with him. You guys can speak with him. Ah, uh, I think it's time for some lunch. I'm freezing, time to go in. So, <laughs> Before we fully call it a good evening and head in, stay warm for the rest of the night inside desert snow back there. Just a quick little update. You can see it is still coming down and it's pretty, uh, it's pretty cold right now. So it's actually turning into more of that fluffy type snow. But you could see like, look, all the trees, the roads are covered once again and it's coming down and of course with the wind, it just makes it a little bit more difficult. But I, one thing I've, learned you know originally coming from new england here is you got to be prepared so i have layers upon layers on multiple sweatshirts um this is just a kind of a neck gaiter to kind of keep your neck warm and my hat unfortunately is all soaking wet but look how look at that I, there's no signs of it stopping right now they say tonight but uh I'm gonna see if I can take the, I'm gonna take Droney up and maybe you can kind of get a glimpse of what it looks like above sort of that peak. Boy, it's really coming down. <laughs> looks good. Oh, and for those of you wondering, like how is our heat holding up in here? Well, I have it at about a steady 68 degrees. Um, I lowered it a little bit to 67 during the day. And then I have a, a small space heater, so it keeps it nice and toasty in there. So it'll be balanced. I'm not using up too much of the propane. Um, I am gonna use an induction cooktop inside since I am plugged in here, which is great. Look at that, already fully covered. I'm looking like Tanya the Snowwoman, but it stays nice and toasty. So I'm gonna show you in a little bit how much propane I use as it's been kind of running constantly, but it stays so warm in there because the insulation in desert snow. So he's kind of made for this weather. And so am I, that's what I'm out in it. <laughs>
So we've had the heat about 67 uh, most of the night during the day. I might lower it to 65. And there's the temp stick. You know, it's kind of a makeshift thing that I have there, a little tape, just so I can monitor the actual temperatures when this shuts off because this here is the um, thermostat. So once the temperature reaches 67 degrees, it cuts off. And so it's pretty insulated in here. One thing that I do is I'll put up this thermal blanket you see here as well, which also helps to uh, decrease the cold air on this compartment, which since Dave is not with me right now, I don't really need to utilize that front space, except I can use it as extra storage. So, oh, and one other thing, actually two more things. I'm not sure if you can see that, but the last reading was about 426. It's 441 right now. And it says it's about 66.5. So it's pretty accurate in terms of the heat in here. So it's nice and cozy. So with it being super cold outside, let me zoom in on that right there. You see the Mopeka, let's see how much uh, gas you've used. So I still have one full tank and I've only touched maybe like a quarter of it right there. So I have tons left uh, in there as well. And this has been kind of running throughout the day, the heat. So we're in good shape. Thumbs up plus, look, I'm in a t-shirt. I'm in my Rise of Resistance t-shirt, super comfy. I mean, look, and cozy. Everybody's cozy. I mean, even Brady's cozy. Ugh. Ooh, but that is, is that stretching? Is that a position? I don't even want to ask what you're doing over there. Cleaning himself, doing the clean. And of course there's nappy, nappy lady. She just loves to sleep all day and play. I just probably wore out from playing with her little flamingo. I did some flamingo chasing today. Wait, let me see. Oh, flamingo chasing. I get you a gotcha, 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 flamingo. Just don't turn upside down and you get the wrong impression. <laughs> uh, now before I start dinner, Today's my band workout day. Friend of mine, Christine from uh, Irene Iron Travels, is really trying to get me into shape, and I feel it's been it's been great. So, what do we have on the dinner menu for tonight? Well, we're gonna have chicken stir fry. So I got some chicken strips already pre-cut. Some uh, vegetables, a whole bunch of assortment of vegetables in there. Now it's interesting because I've never cooked inside the RV except one time I made breakfast a long time ago, obviously because I don't like to make a mess. It's a small kitchen space. I usually cook outside, but since it's like a blizzard out there right now, we're going to cook inside. So I'm trying to like makeshift things like, okay, here's my pad for the wall so it doesn't go spilling. And then I'm going to cover when it cooks, I'm going to use some aluminum foil um, to kind of cover on top while it cooks to keep it from splashing all over the place that's having a lot of work to clean up afterwards. So anyway, that's the plan. So let's get cooking. Okay, I never had this happen before. So I tried to open up the vent, the max vent, to get some circulation in here while I'm cooking. So it cooks up and it did not pop. And I think it's because it's frozen. I mean, obviously it's the only time it's, it's been in the ice and snow like this. So I think it's frozen. So, hmm, what do we do? I have a good old blow dryer. Let's see if that does it. Oh, just walking around. <laughs> oh, the joys. The joy of the joys of the RV life. And I could crack a window. Okay, so that did not work. So we're gonna crack a window, maybe the door while we cook. But hey, if you have any ideas on how to unstick a Max fan when it's snowing, besides going up on the slippery roof, leave it in the comments below, because I would really appreciate that. I'm about to have some chicken stir fry, a little side of organic spinach, and I'm gonna pop open this and do a little Netflix and chill. It's been quite a day. It's still snowing outside, which is 
It's somewhat kind of serene in a way. You look out the window and you see this beautiful white snow and it's nice and toasty in here. So I am exhausted, you guys. What a day. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, that is so good. Mm. Dave would approve. Ho, 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 I need a little taste of... Good morning. Good morning. Okay. So the sun is shining. The skies are blue. The storm is over. But um, I'm still buried in all that. Oh my God, all right, this has been quite an experience. You know, I had no idea what I was getting into coming up here. And then of course, Dave not being able to come up here because of a snowstorm. You know, Dave does a lot of the work on the outside, handling things like turning on the propane and setting things up out here while I do the stuff on the inside. So I had to kind of pace and take things one step at a time. And you know what? We did it! We made it through the snowstorm. Uh, uh, uh. We made it through the snowstorm. Now one thing I have to make it through is cleaning off this day of RV. There's a lot to do. So the sun is shifting. Um, it's going to be getting dark at some point. You know, it gets dark early here up in Mount Charleston. So that means it's going to start getting cooler and the roads are wet. So I don't want that to turn to slick stuff. So I am going to clean off this RV, head out down into the valley so I can meet Dave. I'm so excited to see him. All right, you guys, we'll see you in the next adventure. Okay, so we haven't quite made it to our destination. I don't know quite the elevation wow. just yet, but I know it's 38 degrees and it's already snowing with like 40 mile an hour it's, winds. This is like quite the storm. I know. I mean, this is an unbelievable winter storm right now. I can't believe, oh, whoa, oh, it's it's ice. ice. There's like ice chunks coming down right now. Woo. Already, look at that ice on the windshield. This time I'm not alone. I got my baby. I'm just a nice go for a, a road trip. Wow, the weather just completely changed. You can see here, it's just really gusty. I mean, this is looking more like a blizzard than anything with the wind blowing, the snow blowing. It was almost 60 degrees, as we said, down in the valley in Vegas, and now it's actually 29 degrees and dropping quickly. I just want to put on the electric Truma antifreeze kit. Since it just dropped so much, we don't want that freezing, obviously. It's another snow day for us to play. <laughs> I'm running around, it's icicles, it's cold. It's so it's cold. It's cold. Get back in desert snow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like a freaking, Ooh. it's like crazy out there. Oh my. All right, so before we forget with all that snow excitement, what do I have to do here now? Yeah, you got to turn on kind of the antifreeze ah, uh, the antifreeze section setting. Got it. on the Truma. Antifreeze done. Visibility is kind of tough here. No, it really is. And you can feel the rig kind of shaking from the wind whipping across. I know, too. I feel it's, it's, it too. You okay, Mimi? Mimi? We're at 7,000 feet of elevation. Um, the toughest part right now are the roads. I mean, you can't tell where the lines are. You just know where the edges are. Yeah, it's got to beat off the ice. And we still have another five miles to go. Woo, this is great. 
Oh, now we've never been to Lee Canyon. It's a little bit of a hidden jam outside Vegas that people don't really all really know about. You don't think about skiing in Las Vegas. So yeah. we're heading up heading up to the ski area. Check it out. And it's over eight thousand feet in elevation. Yeah, I think it's like eighty six hundred yeah. feet or something. So we're so going way start, up. Yeah. We're gonna start feeling it like <gasps> <laughs> exactly. I got a good dinner plan too, by the way. So. Okay, and I have a little something planned. Uh, now, we didn't really anticipate it being uh, ice. No, well. no. The temperatures are like dropping fast. Like right now, we're in like, it's like 30 degrees. About. Yeah, it's 30, exactly. 30, it was like almost like 60, 60 when we left yeah. about, you know, 45 minutes ago. And now it's suddenly 30. We haven't even gained much elevation yet. Wow. This has been a complete change in weather. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the snow is coming down. We love it. We made it. There's all kinds of like trails. Okay. Okay. So this is the restroom. Help yourself. Oh, it's warm. Somebody's already scouting out the campground. You scouting out the campground for us? This is the McWilliams group gathering area. So that's where they can kind of gather. There's picnic tables over there. But they're camping in a little tiny thing. Look at that little guy. Yeah, that is so tiny. All right, here we go, backing it up. Straight back. All right, nice job, keep it going. Further back, straight back, you got it. Just keep it straight. Yeah, that's perfect, nice job, man. Good spot, it's a beautiful spot. Oh, and beautiful. Time to set up camp. I love setting up camp. Right now, and it's still early in the day, the weather tonight is supposed to be below zero, but right now you can see right there, it's 17 degrees out. Ah, ooh, babe, it's freezing out there. <laughs> it's cold. So I think this time, because it's actually gonna be below zero, a lot of times we'll keep like the front compartments uh, open up a little bit, turn the chairs around. But we think because it's gonna be below zero, we're gonna put that thermal blanket up that we sometimes put up here, which allows us to not use as much propane, but also keeps the areas warm, warm extra warm. <laughs> I know Dave is off in the back, kind of getting things set up. So you're gonna probably be watching this video after Valentine's Day, which is today. Believe it or not, it's Valentine's Day here. And so Dave and I really want to come up here and enjoy the snow one more time this season. Got something special for Tanya, so she has no idea. And I'm preparing a nice dinner. So he doesn't know what's for dinner. So I'm super excited to get this here tonight. So I'm gonna make him a nice lamb uh, tonight with really nice seasoning that I have. And it's gonna be a really it's gonna be a beautiful night, night together. The snow Get the fire is going and gorgeous here. Can't wait to show you guys, so stay tuned for that. Wow, look at the wind is just crazy. It's blowing by look at that blowing snow. I mean it really is like a a blizzard out here. I mean look at that snow just whipping across. Yikes. Right in your face. Yeah, it's funny, they, they only said about four inches of snow up here, but you can see it is coming down like crazy right now and it's windy and it's cold so it's it is a dry snow now so if you're in the las vegas valley area don't forget about lee canyon and this campground up here because it's great whoa For those interested in this campground, McWilliams, right? McWilliams, yeah. The spots are $30 for single, $40 for double. Now, you can stay 14 after 14 days. It's absolutely beautiful. And right now, there's only a small portion that you can stay in in the winter. The rest is blocked off. But during the summer, reservation systems open up. And it's a really beautiful campground, even right. in the snow. And in winter, it's all first come, first serve. First come, first serve. So tonight for dinner, I'm starting off with, he loves like the garlic and herb feta spread with some crackers and a little wine. But the main event is I have marinating with a little bit of soy sauce. Um, I have two, he loves lamb. So we got the lamb, sort of lamb shoulder chops, really nice thick pieces. And I'm marinating that with a little soy sauce, a splash of red wine, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, just a really nice, a uh, mixture of different ingredients just to soak into that because it just tastes amazing. I'm using like a pink Himalayan sea salt in there. Hey, if you guys like like the cooking sessions we do here, let us know in the comments. I'd love to know if you wanna maybe share the recipe if you're interested at some point. Yeah, just let me know. Mini 
cool adventures. Yeah, absolutely. I love you so much, baby. Yeah. Cheers to you as well. Gotta add that extra spice. Oh, it's so good. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. Gonna be Surprise is over. I did not want to be out here by myself. You know, it's still Mount Lion country. So I just said to hubby, come on out. I have some delicious for you besides me. And hey. Yeah, and it smells amazing. Yay. Can't wait. It smells, smells amazing, baby. Amazing. Voila. Mmm, tender. Mm. Ah, dinner is served. Well, thanks so much, babe. Yeah. To my, my most amazing life. You're unbelievable. I love you so much. Thank you. I love you. And to my incredible husband, you know, even though every day for us is like Valentine's Day, we just have so much fun together. This is extra special. And uh, I love you so much. I love you so much. It's Yay. amazing. It's like zero degrees, 8,700 like feet up. I know. Beautiful Valentine's oh my Day. God. I know. Fun. With the woman, woman of my dreams. Yay. Love you, baby. I love you, honey. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God, the flavor. Oh, the flavor. This is incredible, babe. So good. That Butter smokiness? Mm -hmm. That is so good. You nailed it. You, I think you should cook the grill all the time now. Oh, well. I'm done. Well. <laughs> that I, is so good. I don't know about that. Happy Valentine's Day, hon. Hey, happy Valentine's Day. It's not over yet. Oh, really? And I got some things for you. Wow. I, no, oh my god. I love you so much and Oh my goodness. You're you're the most amazing woman in the world and I'm really lucky and we're together. Oh thank you, love you. Ron. Happy Look, I got my rosy kiss. red. Kissy Ooh, kissy. Oh, oh okay. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. Of course. Oh. I got my rosy red uh, robe on here for you. Wow. <laughs> and my extra long underwear. Stay, stay cozy. Extra long warm stay underwear. Stay cozy in like negative sub-zero temps. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, I love you, babe. Thank you, honey. I hope you like it. Oh my goodness. I love the earrings. I see what you're doing. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Right before bedtime, you spark a little gift. You know, let's mess with the chest and the chip and the huh? All right, well, you know, I see what you're doing. I do see what you're doing. Oh, yeah, what's that? Well, <laughs> good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> good morning, buddy. How'd you sleep? Good morning. Here's like. I'm still sleeping. I sleep one more. Last night was the coldest that we've ever been with desert snow. It got well below zero. Actually went down to minus 23 degrees Celsius, which is actually minus 9 degrees Fahrenheit. It was just absolutely freezing. But I gotta say, Tanya, myself, our two kitties, we stayed really warm in desert snow, so we were pretty pleased. But boy, it's freezing. So the temperatures are still in the teens here, but we're in a new spot. We have our snowshoes on. Snowshoes, snowshoes. And so we're gonna explore to see what beautiful trails are here in Lee Canyon, or at least until my toes get frozen because it's still in the teens here as far as the weather's concerned. So we are on the hunt for tracks as we're in the fresh snow and Dave came up with some first ones. First tracks. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what these are. I'm curious if folks watching let us know in the comments below. What do you think these tracks are? I think they're fox tracks. That's going to be my guess. Small. But yeah, let us know in the comments. Right. So our mission is what Dave? To find See, mountain lion tracks, fresh mountain lion tracks. Well that would be amazing, but really any fresh tracks. Elephant tracks. <laughs> that would be unheard of. <laughs> At least in this uh, millennium. Hmm, bear tracks. That would be surprising. Dinosaur tracks. Okay, I got you. Dinosaur tracks. Now that would be pretty typical, I think. Yeah, well, hold on. Take a look over there. Right here. Dinosaur. Right. Dinosaur track. We got some more tracks here. Not sure what these are. Looks like the. Uh, Wind has blown some snow in. 
So again, if you uh, think you know what they are, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> you want to know how much snow is underneath us right now? We are up, we're like six feet taller than <laughs> the garbage cans. That's crazy, Dave. Woo! Right? Wow. There's a lot of snow here. A lot of snow. So, babe, we've been at this for about an hour now. And it's beautiful. All the grounds here are lovely, but there's not many tracks. Yeah, I, think, uh, I think the animals are all kind of sheltering from the cold and the wind. Yeah, I think that must be it. I believe so. They're afraid of like negative five degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Discovered. Well, not animal tracks, but we do have a uh, bat motel. Oh. With the uh, little uh, Batman symbol up there. Oh. Well, right now they're probably all off in Mexico. Yeah, that might be. Somewhere and making, they're making their way back this direction. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun snowshoeing, babe. What'd you find over there? Yeah. Some strange uh, creature over there, I think. Strange creature. Made of snow. Look at that. Magic snow. Magic snow. Oh, wait, but look, behind you, watch out. There's one behind you. Oh, oh. Oh, oh and we got one eye <laughs> and no hands. But extremely adorable. Creatures and dreamers, they both believe. In the patterns and powers. Well, this campground is definitely a true hidden gem, kind of just outside of Las Vegas. And think about it, if you're RVers like us, and you want to beat the heat of Las Vegas, well, there's multiple campgrounds that you can actually camp in up to 14 days. Reservation systems open up, you can make a reservation. Honestly, that's the way to end the day. I'm gonna to have to say, you always wonder, okay, it's a lot of snow in that, going downhill in an RV. I'm sure we can do it, but it probably would have made me a little nervous. What a way to end the day. Plot man to the rescue. Plot man, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you. What a way to end the day. We're about to check out, and now the roads will be clear for us. Thank you, Plot man. Thank you. Can you believe, Dave, that we, we did it? We camped in desert snow with the kitties, you and I, in the coldest coldest temperature we've ever been in. I mean, negative 23 degrees Celsius, AKA negative nine degrees Fahrenheit. That's crazy. It was crazy. It was a lot of fun too. It was a lot of yeah. fun. A lot of little icicles here and there, but the sun is shining right now. And guess what? What's that? I love you. I love you so much, baby. Tanya is right. We really challenged ourselves here and the rig in these extreme conditions. But we had a lot of fun doing it. And this place, this place is a true hidden gem. Yes, it's a true hidden gem. You know what? Off to the next adventure. Adventure. Only one more glass stand alive. Good morning. So we are still here in the snow. We are about to be affected by one of the biggest snowstorms in a long time. It doesn't feel safe for us to kind of trek back down uh, towards the Vegas area. So we're gonna sit tight and we are supposed to get a two day accumulation of snow. And it looks like it might be around between two to four feet of snow. So that's crazy. I mean, this feels like it's, we could call this the blizzard of 2023. I'm hopeful because we're together. Dave and I are together this round. So I'm not gonna be doing this by myself. Woohoo! The wind is picking up. Yes, that's another thing. So we're getting about 45 mile uh, to 65 mile an hour winds. We're just gonna have to hunker down. Oh man. So my goal is to try to, as best I can, kind of keep up with the snowfall, not not wait and let, it, let three feet of snow accumulate. My hope is every like six inches or so I'm out here kind of cleaning it up. I want to have a nice campsite for us, nice fire pit. We have wood for the fire tonight. Tanya has some great meals she's planning as well. So 
and we're gonna be firing up on our on our grill out here. So I want this set up nice. I will say we are worried about the amount of snow accumulating on top of our Echo Desert Snow because we've never had a ton of snow on it and worried about the weight. Now, fortunately, it is a dry snow, but uh, we're gonna keep our eye on that. I may have to go up there and try to uh, brush the snow off during the snowstorm. Hey, babe. Since we're gonna be here for a few nights, you know, do you mind getting out the lights so we could actually make this our real winter wonderland? Well, that's a great idea, babe. I'll, uh, I'll get that right after I finish shoveling. Awesome, okay. Thank you. Can't wait till, can't wait till nighttime. This is gonna be beautiful. I know. Wow. It's gonna be a real winter wonderland. We're camping in a place with a lot of wildlife, from mountain lions to deer to coyote. Uh, foxes and things like that. And so we've set up some cameras, motion sensor cameras, to try to see if we pick anything up. We're also probably look for footprints later as well. But uh, here are the cameras. I see one right up there. There's one. It's kind of looking off that way. Here's the other one right there, kind of looking off. So no promises we'll see anything. But if we do, you will definitely definitely see it so fingers crossed hopefully we'll catch something cool all right update so day one of the storm looks like we're going to be getting closer to 10 inches but we think we're going to go for a little walk so one important thing we always say is make sure you have layers and in this case we have ones that are sort of our windbreakers especially since it's going to be like 45 between 45 and 60 mile an hour winds can't wait to show you guys what the campground looks like at night since we kind of set the lights here kind of making our own little winter wonderland so you gotta stay positive in all this right it's important Well, the wind has really died down, babe, huh? I know, yeah. it's the calm before the storm. <laughs> exactly. The calm before the, the gods open up everything and just empty out their vacuum cleaner. And it's actually true, because there's some big storms coming. I know, I, we, we keep saying that because we've never been this deep of no, snow at No, all. no, no. This is coming, this is actually the blizzard that's hailing from California. It's all across the all country. All across the country. So this is the blizzard of 2023, and we're about to show them what's up. You know what, honestly? We couldn't have chose a better camper van for it. Oh, I know. And we're together this time. I know. I don't have to do it I by was... myself. <laughs> all by myself. Babe, when we yeah. were in Alaska, it was like the folks, it's called Mountain Men Marathon or whatever it was, or Mountain Women. They're yeah, kind and of, Seward. And Seward, Alaska. And they were kind of running straight up those hills. It looked a little something like this. <clears throat> uh oh, here we go. Are you feeling it? Oh my goodness. You got it, Tanya. You're almost there. <laughs> That's my babe right there. That's my babe. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Stop. I'm coming after you. You can, you can make it look like I hit the top. Well, I can't, but you can. Come on. <laughs> you hit the top. Congratulations. High five. Woo. That's the top. Woo. Coffee in bed. Coffee in bed. Coffee in bed. That's the way it should be because that first taste so heavenly. It's so good. Thank you. It's actually a beautiful morning, too. The snow stopped. True. Oh, it stopped. Right? Beautiful. Wow. So, in the middle of the night, I heard a big thump down below. And then, of course, I looked down and Brady was like hovered over by the shoes. Really? So, you know, lots of snow. Only other thing that likes uh, snow as much as us are mice. Well, I remember the last time it Brady did that. Yeah, there was a Brady caught a mouse. So, hopefully, just before you put your shoes on, check to make sure there's no icy poo. I'm not scared. <laughs> Uh, I'll be scared if I see something. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> a cat. Well, I was gonna, it's gonna be. Good 
morning, good morning. Oh, so we have a little break in the first leg of this big blizzard of 2023, we call it. So the plan today is we know we're about to get hit with the monster one today. And it's supposed to start around 10 o'clock-ish. So it's bright and early. Uh, my plan today is I have an awesome stew that I wanna make. It's an oxtail stew southern style and it takes a lot of preparation and i'm going to be doing it in a dutch oven so that's the plan for today but i first before i can do any of that i'm going to enjoy this beautiful scene right here with a cup of coffee all right so thus far dave's inside and he's been doing a lot of the shoveling and i feel bad because we only have one so for this morning a little surprise before he comes out i am going to shovel let's see how fast i can do this <laughs> So let's see what Dave thinks. Came on surprise. And there was a little surprise I saw in the back. I saw some tracks. He may know what they are. That led to the RV, which is maybe going to what we heard last night. But here, let's surprise him. Dave! I have a surprise for you. What babe? Just come down the stairs. Well, two surprises, really. First okay. one is, look to the left. Look what I did. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh my God. Thanks, baby. I that's know. amazing. I wanted to help you out a little bit. Thanks, baby. Give me a kiss. Yeah, of course. Good morning. Mm -hmm. You're amazing. Yeah, look over here. When I was plowing or uh, shoveling, oh, yeah. look, there's under, tracks. Under our rig. All these tracks here. Yeah. And they went under the rig. Wow, that, that might explain what, what uh, Brady was hearing. And it kind of stops there, yeah. which means I'm thinking they may have crawled up the wire. I want to check. Another out. large. Uh, I wonder if I shouldn't have this stuff under the rig. That's what I'm thinking. Right, if I give them a way to crawl place. up, they can like, kind of crawl up. Like here too, like they yeah. crawl up the wire. Oh my God, we have a mouse. I have all this stuff they can crawl up on. We have a mouse in yeah. the house, you guys. Quick story time. The inspiration for today's stew is coming from my mother. So when I was a kid, my mom made this dish and I didn't know what to expect. I knew it smelled really good, but when she told us it was oxtail, I was like, I don't know about that. Oh, I'm so sorry. But when I tried it, it was so tender and fell off the bone. I could never get it out of my head. So anytime I hear oxtail um, dishes, I've always wanted to try making my own. And I figured today's kind of the perfect day to do that because of the snow uh, that we're about to get hit. I think having something hearty uh, just feels right. And trying to create this oxtail stew, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I got to get prepping, but yeah, thanks mom. Oh, wait, I'm at the door. Yeah. Oh boy. Hi. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Are we in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. <laughs> Phew, um, goodness. We're just letting everybody know from the Forest Service side of things that it's going to be about two feet of snow coming up here in the next two days. We're probably not going to be plowing the road, oh. um, just so you're aware. Yeah. Um, and if you do need to leave or if you're not good to stay at least until Monday. So until Monday. Um, okay. Yeah, that will be probably when we can actually get up here to clear things out. Dave, did you hear that? I did, wow. So not until Monday. I mean, we have tons of food and right. lots of propane, so we, we probably can last to the middle of the week of next week, but yeah. I mean, that's a big deal. I know, I'll have to get up and clean off the roof too when oh. the snow comes in, so. Yeah, oh my gosh. So it looks like we definitely have to hunker down. This is getting real. No, it is, and uh. Like I was excited, but now I'm a little nervous because the fact that they were all advised not to come I know. Come up here to plow us out. Like we're gonna, we're on our own. And I used, we're used to seeing the park service around. It's weird not having them come up. What's wrong, babe? What's going on? You okay? I'm fine. Um, onions. Oh, onions. <laughs> <laughs> Got all my ingredients ready to prep for my meal tonight. And uh, now Dave, Dave is up. Let's light this can. Here it goes. There it goes. Oh, all there right, it goes. Got it. A lot of coals. The coals. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so the coals are nice and hot right now. I could feel it, which is nice. It feels good on my hands. So basically what I'm gonna put in the Dutch oven, the bottom layer is gonna have the vegetables that I, you saw me preparing, chopping up, with the exception of the mushrooms. Um, those will come later on, mushrooms, and I have like a tomato paste I'm gonna drop into that broth after about 60 minutes on this first drive. Um, then I'm gonna put the, on, uh, the vegetables at the bottom, then the oxtail kind of goes right in there, and then I'm gonna put the garlic cloves in between those, my little seasonings, Voila, get it started. Anyway, enough talk. Let's pray. Secret ingredient. I just had to tell you that. This is the secret ingredient, and it's not just for us, it actually goes into. I just wanted to come on here and say really quick uh, while the food is brewing just how awesome it is to really be up here just camping you know Dave and I really do enjoy camping and I love being able to do this with my husband we really bounce off each other so well whether it's preparing for deep snow whether it's dealing with issues in the RV and that's kind of what it's all about you know just focusing on the adventures and what you can handle and taking things one step at a time looking good over there babe Back away. Moment of truth. There it is. It smells amazing. Oh, thank you, hon. I've been trying to withstand the temptation to open it up. I know. Right? Yeah. You ready? Voila. Whoa. Get a whiff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, goodness. it smells so Look good. At that. Carrots, the onions. Look. Woo! It's time to eat. Hey. Amazing. Thank I love you. you so much. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, well, bon appetit. This is going to be hearty, I nice, know, filling. Amazing. There's a lot of good stuff going on in there. So I'll let, the, I'll let you have the first bite. Tell me what you think. Okay. Tender, mm. tender, juicy. Oh, it's so tender and the flavor is amazing. You like it? It's not really good. Yeah, I'm like it. I'm dive in, babe. So I'm thinking, you know, after we finish here, because it's been, it's going to be such a battle with the snowstorm coming up, that we take some food down to our host. I mean, uh, I made like a whole bunch. So what if we took some down to them? Oh, absolutely. Yay! So the temperature's starting to drop, babe. I know, I, I can feel, feel it. I see some snowflakes are coming, so. I feel it. I can see it falling on my face. All right. And my... Woo, all right. I got a good amount, good portion size for the host, and this should all get them through at least the storm. And it's getting ready to come down right now, so let's take it to them. I think they're gonna really appreciate this, Dave. Oh, they're gonna love it. Right? Yeah, it's like comfort food. Exactly. Two feet of snow, storm weather food. Made by Tanya. Made by Tanya. <laughs> hey guys, I am such a lucky guy. I mean, Tanya just made an incredible oxtail stew. She's an amazing woman. Uh, but we hung out actually with the host for a while. We brought them the stew. They really appreciate it. We had a great time down there. And so now the snow, you might see here behind me, the snow has really started falling. And so what we think we're gonna do, we're gonna actually save the campfire for tomorrow night after we get the full snowstorm. I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and we have something special planned inside. Hey babe. Yeah. So tonight I'm gonna try this method. I know folks talk about if you have mice or if there's a mouse uh, you wanna keep out. Well, they say dryer sheets tend to have like that smell that they don't want. So I'm gonna try and rub some of these on all four tires really quick and see if that keeps them because I think the entry point was the front tire. From that sounds good. The last one from the prints we saw. Right, rub it, rub it, rub it. That stuff smells. Right, that's what I'm hoping, counting smell on. Delicious. It'll smell delicious. <laughs> keeps the mice, mice delicious. We're taking this. And I also removed everything out from under the rig. Try not to leave any climbing things for the mice to get in. Everything is out. So what are we doing here? All right, so this is called sling a puck. So sling a puck is a game where it's like you have, there's 10 pucks, all black. And uh, so you got your cowboy hat on, ready to sling. Yes, so. <laughs> sling a puck. Get my cowboy um, hat. So yeah, you might want to slide a little bit this direction, just a little bit. Okay. 
and the objective is for you to get all of your pucks on my side and mine on yours. And the way you do it is you have to pull it back and sling it. Okay. So pull sling. back and sling. Exactly. Sounds and so good. here we go. Ready to do it? Ready? Let's do it. Woohoo! Let's do all it. Right. Oh. Kitties like their fresh water in the morning. A little water change. Right. Of course, we also give them spring water. Today is going to be the perfect day for Dave and I to get out and enjoy a little bit of the mountain. It's closed to access, so we're gonna snowshoe and we're gonna do a little snow tubing. When I say little snow tubing, I mean little snow tubing. Oh, there it is. How's it going? This pup does suck, man. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm trying. It's a little one. Oh my god. It's a little one. I don't know. I mean, that is not going to fit half my butt cheek. I think cheek. it's rated 10 years old. It's not going to fit half my butt cheek, Dave. Right. Rated 10 years old. We'll see how long the sledding lasts. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. Come on, little buddy. We can do this. Come on. We're doing it together. If we're going to be stuck in this deep snow, like, I'm going to make snow cones. So I'm going to put these right out on the table. Nice little spot for them, as long as the wind doesn't blow them over. That's a great idea. And collect, and by the time it fills up, we'll make snow cones with orange juice. I like this let me teach you a quick trick I learned from a fellow youtuber if you don't have tumbleweed or good kindling wood just put a little Vaseline on cotton balls put it underneath the dry wood yeah or and if you don't have that save some money on those cotton balls you could just use some dryer lint and that does the trick yeah, if you got that handy <laughs> it smells nice too that's true like this candle baby Ooh. oh I see it I see it I see it kicking in yeah I see it Oh, nice job. Well, we love the smaller wood too for the wood stove in our hot tent, right? You can need small pieces for that. So you gotta chop it up. Yeah, well, you did a great job. High Thanks, five. Baby. Uh, right. High five. Uh. All right. Oh, check it out. The snow cones. We're gonna be making nice snow cones. Look at that. Hey, babe. Yeah. What do you say we give it a little test run before we take it on over there? I, I think, think so. there's a perfect little hill. Right there! Look at that little hill. That's I think that's a perfect little test. I think that would be good. Those, that's, those are pretty small. I think uh, we haven't used those since we we're like ten years old. Ten. They're pretty tiny. Really ten? Well, time to bring back ten years old All right. again. Time has got All this. Right. You got it, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Woo. All right, there you go. You should definitely subscribe after that because I actually got back up on two feet. I'm not hurt. I thought you did a nice job. I was, I was very impressed. Ooh, thank you. You're up. <laughs> uh oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Dave is up, ready for the world champion, Winter Olympics lifesaver. <laughs> Look at that run. Whoa. Oh. Oh, he's right, he's following in my tracks. Wow. Superman, Superman, oh, Superman. <laughs> he's kicking off of the wall. Look at him go. All right, hold on. Oh, we gotta catch him, we gotta catch him. We gotta catch him, we gotta catch him. Oh, going down my feet. Look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Following the path. Oh, Superman, there he is. Oh, oh, we're coming for you, Superman. I'm coming for you, Superman. You I'm coming for you. I'm coming All for you. Right. Nice job! Nice job, babe! Woo. Oh my god! We, we found, found a bigger, bigger hill! hill. Alright, Dave, are you ready? I'm ready. I think I found the perfect path. Alright. It looks a little something like this. Ah! Uh, you ready? I'm ready. Whoa! Ooh, turn it! Turn it! Oh! 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 Turn! This is. Ah! Woo! 
Oh my God. Oh my God, that was so fun. Did you that? We landed perfectly. We did. I just hope we don't start a trend here. I know, exactly. Woo. Woo. Get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, oh Dave. Oh my God, watch the jump. Oh, watch the jump. Whoa. 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 <laughs> oh, my oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. These might be fox tracks. Look at them. Oh, right. see the track master. Dave is the track master, y'all. Look at that. Yeah, if you guys know. These tracks, let us know in the comments below. I can't below. even tell what those it, tracks are. It's tough because so they're blowing in, yeah. Well, the snow is really starting to come down now. It is heavy. It was really windy earlier as well. Actually, wind gusts are projected to be up to 60 miles an hour. And it's, uh, they're still saying up to two feet of snow here. So it's really coming. We are, we're hunkering down here. We're basically stuck here right now. So, I mean, there's no way out. So we're going to hunker down in our campsite. And um, the snow, a little wary because the snow is a bit stickier. So you can see the snowball right there. It's snowball weather. And, um, you know, Tana's been really worried about the roof and kind of getting two feet of snow, kind of heavy, wet snow on the roof. And I, I'm worried too. I've been trying to be, uh, you know, make her calm down about that and not be too nervous, but it's definitely something I got to check that and potentially uh, go up there and take that off the roof later if it gets too high. Man, it really is getting a lot colder out here. And we're just going to take it one hour at a time in this storm because it's coming down hard. And it, man, it's just whacking me in the face here, but, and this will definitely be the heaviest snow and deepest snow ever on Desert Snow's roof. So really, really gotta be careful with that. And, um, you know, make sure we kind of get that off the roof. Last thing we want to do is have a leak in the roof. Uh, we've been through a lot already in Desert Snow and, you know, we're ready to kind of hit the road, do a lot of more fun stuff and don't want to be getting that roof repaired. Wow, it's really whipping. Oh, you can see how much of it is. Look, look right down there. Coming right up. Oh, in my face. Oh, you can feel it. Can you feel it in your face? Because I feel it in my face. It's really. We tried to shovel as much as we could shovel to keep it as low, but so we've kind of given up on that. So we're going to try and uh, just do what we can do. I'm sure Dave probably told you this. The plan is just to hunker down, but you could feel some of the wind gusts just really kind of hit the rig. morning and the sun is shining um we don't know what it looks like out there fully yet but we know it's going to be a beautiful morning and uh wow what an adventure these past several days we'll see we may still be stuck here for another day but it's it's been worth it lots of fun so we're gonna have some coffee and uh see what it looks like outside this morning Sleep okay. Nice and warm. Hey, Bubby. He will not move from this spot, which makes me think that there might be an intruder. So I almost forgot. So Dave actually set out some cameras to see if we could capture some animal tracks or animals overnight, past few nights. There haven't been any, uh, with the exception of a few small mice. So we're gonna give him a reason to check those cameras. So guess what? I have on right now. Check this out. I got my Sasquatch pants. So, my Sasquatch pants. Wow. Unbelievable. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm kind of tucked behind this wall. It's probably a lot of snow, over a foot deep here. So there's the camera right up there, right by the, the traction pads right up there on the ladder, the green traction pad. So I'm going to make my way 
through the snow over here up to the camera and then just basically say, gotcha. Sasquatch caught on camera. <laughs> Oh my God, okay. The things we do for love. That was so hilarious. He's going to, he's gonna laugh so hysterically. It's not even funny. All right, I'm gonna go make some coffee to warm up because I am frozen, but that was hilarious. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. Hey, my turn. I surprised you with puppy. Slept, slept in today. Beautiful out there. I can hear the folks out there trying to clear things up. That snow is deep, deep. Yeah, wow. Deep. And I can even see how pretty it is, even with my bad eyesight. Right? How beautiful <laughs> yeah, it is out there. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, well, good morning, my love. Thank you, baby. Love you so You're much. welcome. You work so hard shoveling yeah. all the dang time. So I'm going to make you a nice breakfast. So get up. I'm ready to kind of get packing. Get Maybe packing. Get out of here. I'll make a good breakfast. Yeah, see the sunshine, babe. Wow. Oh, wow, beautiful. See, there, they're out there proud. All right, all right, like, clean us out. Cleaning us out. Well, breakfast time for everyone. Breakfast. Come and get breakfast. Gorgeous out there, oh, right? Oh, God, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love days after snowstorms and this blue sky, the sun comes out, it's amazing. Yeah, and the sun just shines right off of all that oh, fresh powder. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the roof too. It yeah. ended up being pretty light snow as oh, it really? got later and it blew off. There's not a lot of snow up there. And oh, plus, of course, God. we have the rack with a panel that kind of right, holds a lot of weight. So panels. Uh, we're in good shape. Thank God. Yeah. Totally forgot about tiny snow cones out here and just shoveled them off the uh, picnic table. We have to buy some uh, fresh ones. Let's see, I can take this down here, darn it. Hey, babe. Yeah. I got a confession to make to you. What is it? What is that? Is well, oh is my god, you. the snow cones! Yeah, but I, I gotta say, I shoveled them off the, uh, the table. Out there, I forgot they were completely you buried. Shoveled my snow cones off yeah, the table. Yeah, I tossed them off the table. I'm gonna make both of these for you, and you're gonna eat them both. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll like it. That's okay. Oh, oh so yeah, I'm like a good I'm out of here. Go. <laughs> oh my god, I almost forgot. These cameras. Hey, babe. Yeah. I got something. Remember the cameras we set up? Right? That's right. I totally forgot. I know. Can you hand me my phone? I want to see if we actually got any yes, animals yes, in there. That is a good idea. Oh my God, we've been so crazy busy with the snowstorm. Yeah, there's actually a ton of videos here. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I can't there's believe it. Of, are you kidding me? We got hold something. On. Yeah, yeah, hold on. You set it up. All right, you did it. Hold on. Wait, oh my God, wait. You set it up nicely. What do we got here? What? Wait a second. <laughs> wait, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it looks like a Sasquatch! Is that yeah. a Sasquatch? Yeah, no, you got me. You got me. <laughs> I got me all excited. <laughs> got me all excited. Hey, what? Oh, right. on camera. Look at, is uh, your, I is still your, love you, babe. It's your fuzzy wuzzy Sasquatchy. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Packed up, ready to rock and roll. I'm so sorry, 
by the way, for that little. Oh no, that was awesome! I love little it. Little Sasquatch moment, but that's part one. I still owe you a bigger one. That was a little mini payback. A little mini payback. But I loved it. I gotta hey, give you a high five for thank that. Thank you. Well, now it's truly time for us to get into some uh, warmer pastures. So off to the next adventure. Oh, two hands on the wheel, please. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> two hands on the wheel. Yeah. yeah, it looks like a little old restaurant up here. You got the special sauce, huh? Yes, I got the special sauce. These fries are delicious. When the winter chill throws you to the bone, you could always find your way back home. It's actually perfect. Another successful Dutch oven. Dutch cooker. oven. There's a big patch of red right there. Like, oh, yeah, here we go. Coming up. This is what happens every episode. I got you. Here we go. Always on the butt. Whoa! Whoa! I, <laughs> I definitely need snowshoes. Well, today we're in southern Utah in the Dixie National Forest. We're up about 7,000 feet, but we're going higher. We're actually going to drive up to 9,000 feet in the RV and uh, really see how we handle winter camping in the cold weather in windy environments. So it's gonna be a good test. Right now it's warm, but tonight it's gonna to be a different story. So just packed up some groceries and now we're off to find a cute, cozy, snowy spot to camp in. It's been a little difficult because most of the spots have been sort of plowed over because of the heavy snowfall that was here. So fingers crossed that we are approaching some more in just a bit and hopefully we will find one. I think I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited because from what we've heard all along this uh, road here, there's like dispersed camping spots where you can kind of go off and really make it your own adventure. And I'm looking forward to that. Right now I heard it's like BLM, like boondocking heaven here. So Ooh. definitely excited. Put desert snow to the yeah, boondocking absolutely. in the snowy cold. And it's going to get really cold <laughs> it's tonight. It's going to be cold. All right, let's find a spot. Okay. Oh my gosh, already starting. All right, so we pulled off on a dirt road and we're trying to find a place where we can camp with the Echo, but there's really a, uh, seems to be no pull-offs here, right? It's just all... Oh, two hands on the wheel, please. Yeah, I got it. Two hands on the wheel. Yeah. I'm a, exactly. Yeah, uh-uh. Definitely a lot of ice Oh, it pays well. Oh, this is, this is getting snowier. Beautiful. Absolutely oh, it's beautiful gorgeous. in here. Just, um... Focus. I am focused. Focus forward for Mama T, because you go up. <laughs> <laughs> You're a little nervous, little right? Nervous. Yeah. I tend to try to find the uh, smoothest part of the road and go down. Oh, here oh, we go. Oh, boy. Whoa. Well, that was a nice that little vibration. That, I know, that was so interesting. <laughs> that was so it's weird. It was like the dualies going over like, those grates. It's went over some grates and it really vibrated. This may not be the place for us. Yeah, definitely not. And right, search continues. Oh, so we're in Swain's Creek Pine. This is super cool. Yes, it's definitely high enough for us to go through. I was kind of worried about that, yeah. but it's high enough to go through. Now this part's private property, so unfortunately. Oh, this part here is. Yeah, it looks so, like. So there's no real spots to. No. Oh, there's no spots that, at all. That whole stretch was just, you know, muddy, snowy, oh icy road gosh. with all with no pull off. So. I hope all the dispersed camping spots are not going to be like I know. this. Are we going to find something? Now, if we had like you know, a four by four, we could drive up there. <laughs> but you well, need, you need we... almost a snowmobile to get up that way. Yeah, I hope we can find something. Welcome to Duck Creek. Right? Here, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I thought we might as well check out this little village. So it's, it's known as like an ATV snowmobile mecca here for adventurers. Yeah. You know, come in here and rent those for the day. This little town. It's a tiny little strip here, right? But then there's some cabins off in the distance. I see that. And now we're kind of like in a town. All right, so just in case you can't find a dispersed camping spot, you could. Right, we can park right station. here. We can park right here. Exactly. And yeah, looks like this little old restaurant up here. All right, on to Chalet Bay. What do you think? I think this is probably a good opportunity to stop, maybe ask some of the locals if we're going to find a dispersed camping spot, maybe grab something. I like. We need some help. We need some local help here at Duck Creek. Let's so head on in. Come on in. We're awesome. We're awesome. I like. Ooh, <laughs> we get a burger. Now I'm getting hungry. Oh man, I love this. This is cool. Yeah. Welcome to Duck Creek. Check it out. They got some nice pies, yeah. Look at that. Mountain berry. Oh, we may need some of this for tonight. I think so. I like it. Hello, sit anywhere. Where's the best seat in the house? Let's see. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. This is perfect. This is cool. Bam! Oh, sit on down. Bam! Hidden gem. Well, you've already discovered that little hidden gem. Well, that's my little secret. They use these facilities. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, I like oh. some coffee, right? I, I might have hot chocolate. Sounds good to me. Hot chocolate. 
<laughs> no, you can go for coffee. No, no, that's probably a smarter idea. We can beep that. Uh -huh. Oh, you're recording them all day, so I see that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we get a little you in here, section. Hot chocolate, huh? Hot chocolate. Ooh, why hot chocolate? Because I've had three cups of coffee already. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm bouncing off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to throw some extra marshmallows in that yeah, one. Yeah, right. I like the wall decorations, babe, right? You gotta look at that. I survived creek. Never be up a creek without one. How's the hot chocolate, babe? It is so good and so creamy and so chocolatey and so everything right now. How's yours? It's very good. It's very, I, I got a nice thing of whipped cream all over. Your my, nose, my, my your dough, mouth, your beer, lip, yeah. the whole nine yards. And it was worth it. It was. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of what we thought. We asked some of the locals here about this first camping. Yeah. And it seems like it's just hard to get back into right now. Ah! Like nothing's really plowed. I know, which makes me afraid because it's kind of getting later in the day. Yeah. And this place actually closes at five. So it's not even right. like open super you know, late, you think it's gonna be a late night just in case, but it closes at five, especially this time of year. We don't have loads no. of light left. So I think a little snacky poo here to kind of get us some sustenance in case we can't find anything. We'll have to, you know, come back yeah. to the gas station and camp. It, there. It's, it's time to set up camp somewhere and hopefully it's not the gas hopefully station. Hopefully it's not the gas station. <laughs> special sauce huh yes I got the special sauce these fries are delicious I kind of tried it without the sauce now I'm trying it with mm. but I love this sort of little hole in the wall you know family owned oh yeah I'm I mean apparently the original location was open in the 70s by grandma now this has been passed down to mom mm -hmm. right and of course it's all family run it's really cool Campground, 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 campground. Come on, it's right there. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, no, right. no. Um, <gasps> can we make it? Oh no, okay. we cannot make that. Can we drive that? Oh my God, we cannot make that. Oh, oh my gosh. We can so, almost make it, but that's a little bumpy. That's a bit, a little. I mean, look at the size of that mountain right there. Go for it? We're definitely, no, we're not going for it. We're definitely <laughs> no, not going no. for it. I think we get stuck. Are you kidding me right now? We're a little, we don't have a high clearance. <laughs> so we found a spot. It's uh, not the ideal spot, but it will work. There is tons of beautiful snow. There's actually trails off to the left. So we're gonna set up camp and do a little bit of exploring before the night falls. And hopefully I can get up. <laughs> okay, I did. Woo! off to try our hand here and a little bit of snowshoeing heading towards Navajo like I don't know how far we're gonna get it's pretty far off but I think we can make a good dent before it gets dark right oh yeah I think so I hope so <laughs> nice and packed Dave yeah I think a few snowmobiles have been over this yeah <laughs> this is like of course we're on the road that's now not paved but it's just full of snowmobile tracks yeah and I think we're ready to go I think I'm ready to gear up it's almost where you wish you had like cross country skis, like woo! They go flying down there. Woo! Like, the, make, like the Winter Olympics. Oh my, and we'd make so much fast time, but now I'm gonna like this. Exactly. There you go. I have no idea. <laughs> Are we close? I think it's right around the next corner. Yeah, we... It's right around the next corner. We got enough time. The sun is still shining yeah. high. We got time. We're kind of in the area where supposedly there's mountain lions around. You're what in some cougar of the country. Locals have said we're in the mountain lion cougar country. So we don't want to be out here at night by ourselves. Unless you got that bear spray with you. <laughs> I may have that. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's getting pretty late. The sun is starting to set behind us and we will go no further. It is time to head back to camp and set up. What do you think? Head back to camp. I'm going to check the signs over here quick oh. to see what they say. So what does that sign say? Highway 14, Navajo Lake of that away. Ah, so what's that way? That's the mystery path. <laughs> I don't know. I love the stop sign. It's like, yes, you are on a road. <laughs> These are summer roads, just not in the winter time. Just not? It's only for snowmobiles. Wow, that's true. So we're uh, basically standing on the streets. Dave. Yeah. What is that? That is a bullet hole. <laughs> a stop sign with a Welcome hole. Welcome to the country. Apparently, somebody does not like the placement of this it's sign right here. It's target practice. They target hate these practice. signs. Uh, get away from the get signs. Get away from the signs. They hate these signs. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> So we survived our short snowshoe hike. We're back here at Desert Snow. It's time to set up camp and start dinner. And we're gonna have a fire too! Voila! Yeah, at least time for dinner, babe. <laughs> Got the dinner seat all ready to go. Just a couple squat right there. Multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. Never have to stop eating. <laughs> it's <is> disgusting. Dinner! <laughs> Ooh, it's getting cold, Dave. Right. How are you how are your hands holding up? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's so cold. It is, it's gotten so cold it's so, so fast. Cold. It's amazing. It was yeah. warm earlier. Yeah. You see that? I know. <laughs> so I'm trying to be as quickly without cutting off my fingers as possible. Yes. I'm dicing up some onions. I'm going to throw that into the Dutch oven. I'm going to heat it up on the uh, Dutch oven if I can make it. It's so cold. Can I help chop some stuff up? <laughs> no. It's okay. I'm going to. I'm just going to dice this up nicely, make them fine because this time it's going in sort of like a rice and beans. So I want to make rice it a little bit beans. more kind of fine. And then I'm going to heat them up right in the Dutch oven. And we're basically going to have a nice warm hearty version of Mexican rice and beans. Olé! She's my believer healing all my doubts. Can't really turn down the heat or turn it up. It's just, it, kind just, of what it, is. it just goes. <laughs> it just Calling goes. all wildlife! Stay the heck away from my food tonight! <laughs> That's right. We are tenting tonight, guys. And my black beans. It makes it very difficult with the uh, the wind, right? The wind. I'm gonna stir it in a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my salt. You're gonna like it. Oh, you're gonna like it. Voila! Dinner is served. All right, thank you, Dave. You're welcome. We got bourbon and some uh, pretty awesome food. Right, little uh, who needs Mexican beans and rice? Who needs hydration when you got bourbon? Oh, you need that too. <laughs> well, who needs it? Not me. Not at the moment. Fill me up with burby. Yeah, that looks you awesome. Know? This looks great. Thanks, babe. It's nice and hot. Give it a shot. Try it when it's hot. All right. I love topping it with a little avocado, right? Eating healthy. Oh, this is great. Right? Really nice. You need a little more nice, salt babe. on there? Or how it's you actually perfect. Another yeah. successful uh, Dutch oven Dutch cooking. Dutch oven! This time over the solo. Boom. Nice job. in the high right? wind and the freezing cold. That wasn't easy, the high wind. No, a yeah. hand, I mean, a hand were getting really cold out there. Numb. Right? Absolutely. Which is why we're eating inside. <laughs> right? Mm. We have a nice fire outside, but that'll be for after dinner. I agree. That is really good. Right? Do you like it? Lots of nice flavor. Boom! One more for the road. Nice job, Eva. Thanks. This is a really great spot. I feel like we're nestled in just us, and the stars are going to be amazing. They're going to be tonight. unbelievable, no doubt. One more, like we always do, okay, to babe. a great night. Great night, baby. Cheers. And there goes. And there goes the W27H. It's like you know the sound now. Yeah, I think so. If it's not on yet, it's going to be on in a minute. <laughs> Perfect winter camping meal. <laughs> I think we should just chill. 
and the movie. I like it. Movie night. Mm. I do want to catch up on comments. Yeah. There's some really great comments that came through, so it'll be fun to kind of just relax and catch up on comments, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's nice going. It's always great going through the comments. This is a great winter camping meal. Oh, I right? agree. It's like just very much comfort food. Yeah. And it didn't, I mean, you worked hard putting that together, <laughs> right? But it's a nice, simple meal. Thank you. Which is great, too. And, and everything blends together nicely. And you got the All fire the raging, just uh -huh. perfect. Well, that's I solo. had no idea that exactly that it was, was impressive. Really, yeah. I had no idea that I was gonna really kick on the solo the way it did, but it was fast. It like just heated up all of a sudden. Right. The water was like boiling. The oil was like boiling. Yeah. The the onions were like cooked. Yeah. Not much temperature control on the solo at the moment. No. It's basically uh, goes 110 percent. Love. Goes to 11 room, all the time. Love eating. Love dining. Love drinking. Love with you. Fire next. Yum yum. Cold. I can't believe how cold it gets. Like we were walking, snowshoeing, and it was warm. I'm yep. taking my hat off, my gloves off. I'm hot. But then once the sun goes in, it gets friggin' freezing. <laughs> I mean, I mean the temperature drop and the wind picks up. Suddenly it's like our hands are just turning to ice. Oh my God, I know exactly what you were saying. Like my hands, when I'm chopping the onions, I'm chopping them like to keep from cutting my fingers off. But then I couldn't get them back. It's almost like they were frozen. <laughs> like, what it's position? Like they were, like, they were no, frozen in time. They were frozen in, in time. Place. And so is my face until I took a sip of this. And that just warms the soul and grace. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>
Navajo Lake, right? You can actually see a little bit of the uh, lava flow here. Of course, most of it's covered by snow. And we noticed it like right away. Like, yeah. We like, look at the rocks. Like, that's lava. Exactly. That's we, lava we know this from Iceland. We know this from Iceland. <laughs> right. Now, one reality of winter RV living is just the solitude you get up here and the peacefulness you get up here in high elevation in the snow. Like in the summertime, this whole area, right, babe, is basically a kind of a summer camping wonderland. Probably folks all over the place. Oh, but yeah. in the winter... You're, it's, it's just you in nature and maybe a few scattered animals. But you're right. It's, it's completely complete isolation and quiet, right. really quiet. You know what? what baby? I feel like everything happens for a reason, right? The fact that one of the other realities is not being able to find a spot. There's so many like, you know, really cool camping spots, but that are closed mostly during the winter. And also you can't get to them because like the four feet mounds of snow that are exactly. blocking the roads to get there. But it led us to this place, which is absolutely beautiful. So, you know, you might get some rough realities, but you get some bonuses of being out here in nature and finding a really cool spot like this, which we probably would have never found had we not realized all those spots were closed. So yay for the closure. Exactly, absolutely. <laughs> hey babe, yeah. how you doing? I'm doing great. But it's being up 9,000 feet. I feel like I'm winded. Yes, me too. Like I'm running on a treadmill at like 100 miles an hour. Nice deep breaths. Breathing. Nice deep breaths. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, no. Whoa. Are we almost there yet? Well, I think. Just beyond that tree line right there, there, babe. I think so, yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. Just across the snowball here, across the ridge line. All right. And that's where I hope it's gonna be. Me if too. not, we may be turning around before the cabin. Beyond the next yonder. <laughs> yes, exactly. Keep on going. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there. Wait, Wait where are we? Well, I thought this was gonna be the lake here. Yeah, but me too. We may have to go actually over that little uh, hill over there, babe. What? Are you talking about that one way up there? Because is that what the map is saying? Well, we're here. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we will have to go up this direction. <laughs> we'll get there. Let's get back to the road. All right. <laughs> are we gonna get there today? Nice going, babe. You definitely feel the altitude, like you said. Whew. One day at a time. I'm so tired. Uh, how much farther? Yeah, it's just around that bend. Uh, so I said five, you five said bends that, like, ago. Five <laughs> bends ago, Dave. You see the sign there? It says Navajo Lake, but there's a sign underneath it that says danger. I'm not sure what it means. Well, check it out. Oh, it says pesticide application. So this is way back in October, though, so yeah. I think we're okay. Dun, dun, dun. Navajo Lake Loop Trail. I think we'll head back up to the road because we know that's going to take us where we want to go. A little hike up and then we're on the road. We're on the road again. A big echo, babe. Echo! Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Amazing. Nice acoustics. Ah! <laughs> it's like a little uh, orchestra chamber that's here. A that's so cool. Come yeah. on, it's my turn. Let's hear it. Give Whoa. us a Give me a Figaro. Figaro! <laughs> Voila! <laughs> I love it. Oh, just when I thought we were all alone, those prints look old, thank goodness, but they almost look like mountain lion prints. How cats tend to walk with like two steps. They look like they're going this way right towards the lake. All right, babe, we made it to the lake. I see it up there. It's a bit distant, but there it is. But hold on, look, 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 you see right there? I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's a big patch of red right there, like. Yeah, it's pretty bright red down there on the ice. That's creepy. What is that? It's either ice fishing or there's some predator made a kill. Yeah, a mountain lion got something I, or. I'm not sure I want to go down there and find out. I <laughs> definitely don't, because if it were old, it probably would have snow covered on top of that, but it looks pretty fresh. You can really see the red from here. That is so creepy. Maybe it's time to turn around, babe. <laughs> I think it's time to go back the other direction, and I'll start it. Okay. Heading on back. Bag it up, bag it up. Oh no! <laughs> and she's down. Let me help you out. Here we go. This Coming is up. Kind of what happens in every episode? Oh, oh my gosh! Here we go. I'm always on my butt. Okay. What? Yeah. All right, you got it. Nice job. Right, heading back. Heading on back. Hey, babe. Hi. I think an angel is watching over us. Yeah. What do you think? After seeing those red, bloody spots in the water. I'll take it any day. Thanks, Angel. A snow Angel right there. My Snow Angel, Snow Angel.
like, babe. Nice job. Next time, next time, bring water. Bring yeah. water. Message to Dave. Always bring water. Hey. Especially here. Especially here. We went so far. I, I know. have no idea. I can't even track how many miles one, but it's pretty far. I wish we made it to that cabin or those cabins. Oh, I know. That's actually that would have be been some, super cool. Supposed to be some really cool cabins, but they aren't open no. this time of year. Another part of coming out here in the uh, realities of winter camping, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. You kind of get the beautiful aspects of nature, but you don't get to enjoy some of the things like those cabins. But maybe we'll save that for another adventure. I like the sound of that. Oh. Ah! I oh, know. My chair, no. my chair just stuck into a hole. <laughs> oh. Sinkhole. Why me? Always me. Why me? Oh, Why me? me? Oh, it's convertible. It's like over here. Right, over there you here. go. Yeah, it's a rocking chair. Over here. Exactly. See, why buy the fancy ones? You can you have this. You your own. We made it. Right? Zion Overlook, our 14. Look at that, huh? Beautiful, babe. You can see Zion off in the distance. Oh yeah, it's like way yeah. up in the distance. This is absolutely stunning. It really is. And we're up at an altitude of about 9,900 feet. Yeah. Ho -ho! Turkey vultures! They're hovering. We gotta get our squirrel suits, babe. <laughs> Ready for the squirrel suits? Hey, That's our called, next adventure. It's called Red Bull. I'm gonna run right off. Here we go! <laughs> no! Come back! <laughs> what do you think, babe? I think it's beautiful. All right, so we have a little bit of a situation. So Dave and I were about to head off uh, into some snow camping and we noticed a little small leak underneath the RV and we went inside to assess it and sure enough, there was a small leak. So we had to pause that. So we have a leak, but we are fortunate. We actually here in this RV community, they're really, really helpful and pointed us in the right direction of someone that's helping us. That's been doing it since 89 as an RV tech. We tried to call the service centers, but they are booked for a while and you can't necessarily, you know, have a leak going on and wait two weeks before an appointment. So it was great to have this gentleman right here, Discount RV Repair. He doesn't want to be on camera, so we're gonna respect that. Yeah, he's doing a great, great job. He helped us truly assess the issue and it's gone from there. So our road trip just may still be in the works. Pardon the mess, but I'm gonna show you. So right there, he's working on that. You see, he's already got it off. They have like a special tool right there. So right at the pecs, that head, that black, that cat there both the blue and the red were leaking so he's replacing both of those we can see so we're pretty happy that once we get that done we can hit the road and get into some snow but gosh world of the RV life it's what happens so you see this is the this is the issue right here I don't understand you see that little split there that's cracked right there and that's the culprit that's been causing a leak so you might want to keep that number handy because issues arise all the time in these things and i think the most important thing is to actually get someone that has a, a reputation and cares about what they do so thanks mark well babe i'm excited yeah, me too. right our first winter trip of the season about time thank right? gosh thank gosh right? i was worried we weren't gonna have this trip but go exactly finally heading into the snow here we come i think this is going to be magical because we got the damn water fixed. Thank yes. you, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Greatly appreciate that. But yes. the snow is calling us. We're going up 6,000 feet? Actually, 7,000. 7,000 feet. 7,000 feet, here we come. The cats are excited. This is their first time. This is actually their first time in the snow. Oh, you're right, first time in the snow. Yeah. At least up on Mount Charleston here. Yeah, I'm really excited. Heading up into the snow. We got our snowshoes. Yeah, it's got, got nice wood from this uh, wood fire. I know. Kind of, kind of get off to a later start tonight, so I think tonight we're just gonna chill because it's gonna be dark. And yeah. I, I heard, I heard there's mountain lions <sighs> in the area. Well, I'll plug us up. You have the bear spray? No, do we? <laughs> we better. We'll find out. Hope we have the I, bear spray. I never took it out. Yikes! Hopefully, we have the bear spray. We have arrived. We have arrived. Yay! There we go, pulling in. Look at the snow! Campground! Right? Campground, we've arrived. Campground. Wow. It's more of a dusty. I know, it's funny. We uh, we expected even more snow, but... Yeah. No parking entire block. <laughs> exactly. Oh. You know, play, look, Fletcher View. Grub, grub. There it is. There it is. Oh, I've just got a little snow around it. A little tainty. Oh yeah, it's our buddy. It's our buddy. We have returned. <laughs> It's weird. There's no hose coming out to do this. I know. Unlike last time. I guess self-service. Move the cone. Self-service. Dave, you got to get out there in the cold and move that cone for us, baby. <laughs> there he goes. He's moving the cone. And then I'm going to 
Have to drive this through. All right. Driving through. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that's one. Okay, so that's spot one. So we're going to be on the right-hand side. I think it's the next one up. See, I knew it. You knew it. I knew it. All right. Well, let's look at some snow here. We can probably find some snowshoeing around. You go a little bit higher in the mountain, and suddenly all, like, all the snow is there. You know, it feels really nice for Dave and I to be back out in the snow. Um, it's something we really enjoy doing. We were a little nervous at first, as you saw from the drive, like as we were kind of inclining into the elevation of the snowy abyss, um, there wasn't much snow. But as we got to our destination, we're about 7,000 uh, feet up. It's perfect. So tonight we're in, we got the heat working. And the last time we were here, the heat wasn't working. So this is a great, great sort of a full circle to be back. So I am going to make something simple tonight. We're going to have a big salad and some chicken. And we're going to watch a movie and relax. And we'll explore this place in the morning. So we'll see you all in the morning. Hi, I'm Bob. I'm the host here at Fletcher View Campground. And these kind people here that have this show wanted me to tell you a little bit about camping. Uh, at Fletcher View Campground, we have 11 sites. So we're the small campground, but when it comes to power, we're the big campground. All of our sites have electricity. So we're very popular with trailers and RVs. We do have sites for tents. So we do get tent people in here, but we do see a lot of trailers and RVs. Uh, the odd numbers are the reservables, and those are basically book solid. The even numbers, the first comes, you got to be here the day you want to camp, and it's the roll of the dice, I call it. Our single sites can have up to eight people, and we have picnic tables, fire pits, barbecue grills, of course, the power. Uh, with the uh, our bathrooms are heated in the winter time, which makes it nice with flush toilets, so they're not the vault guy <laughs> that you might fall into and never be heard from again. And all I can really say is our campground is the quietest because of the power. You don't hear generators running, which is a big complaint at other campgrounds. Some campers have industrial-sized generators, and you can hear those a mile away. So we are the quietest campground in the mountain. We have some nice wild animals. The horses come by, wild deer. We didn't see too many of the deer lately. And I had this one camper who was a hunter and he says the reason for that is there's been an, uh, a large population of mountain lions so they've been eating a lot of the deer so whether that's true or not i don't know but that was his opinion but we haven't seen many deer in the past couple years Time to get up. Oh, something smells good. We got some coffee for you. Oh, little, little eggnog good creamer morning. in there. Good morning to me. Good, good morning, morning yeah. to everyone. Look at look over here. Though. I know. Look at we got. Oh, hey. Hey, oh, Bobby. Look behind me. Brady is like curled up sleeping. What do we got over here? Lucky oh my God, I see look in at the her. back She's corner. Like, Where's my coffee? There she is. Oh, thank you so much for coffee. There we go. Mm, show the kitties more so I can sleep all night. <laughs> Hi, Bray Bray. How you doing? That's Bailey. Oh, Bailey. I know you got Bailey. Yeah. That is Bailey. And of course, Brady is over here. Mm -hmm. And coffee for me. And we got Mommy. Hi. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, enjoy that coffee. <laughs> it's <There you> cold. <laughs> Have it's, a sip. It's hot coffee. It feels good in here. I slept well. And I'm really, really proud of something. Oh yeah, what's that? The walls didn't sweat. Yeah, right? amazing. The last time we were here, it was like, we're in a sauna. Exactly. <laughs> the walls are sweaty. I see Grogu's waking up too. Ready for the day. He's not ready for the day yet. That's really good. Oh, you put the eggnog creamer in there. Oh yeah. That tastes really good. Thanks, babe. Oh my goodness. Now that is a really wonderful way to wake up. The sun is shining and that beautiful white snow on the ground. Oh. Look at that view. It's so pretty up here. Look at mommy's little cuddle buddy. Mommy's little cuddle buddy. She sleeps right behind me. And I put my hand on her and we keep each other warm. And it's cold, right, Bailey? Hey, mommy and me, she's mommy and me. See, so it's nice going for a little brisk walk. Yeah, and exactly. Dumping the trash. Dumping the trash. <laughs> Do your duty. Keep everything. The parks. Ah, oh, nice job. Keeping the parks clean. 
Hey babe, we're back in mountain lion country, oh, your favorite. I remember boy. last year tenting up in Utah in mountain lion country. That was a little scary. That remember was that? a little scary. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We should probably show them that. Oh man, that was a fun time. Oh my gosh, so that much was so fun. much fun. That was so much fun. Want to get back to walking? I mean, these ponderosa pines are incredible Let's here. Let's get back to right. walking. Loving all the ponderosa pines in the air. They got the beautiful trunk and the greenish hair. So really quick tip. Here is the restrooms. And we're parked pretty far. So if you're in a small rig where, let's just say, you don't use the bathroom for those special occasions. Well, it's a pretty far walk and it's really dark to get to the restrooms. So you might want to go for spots four, five, six. Um, four, four and five are pretty close to it. Yeah, we like four and five. Right yeah. next to us. So we're that way there, which yeah. I think is three. Yeah. So, or four, four, five. Yeah. Just those are the close spots in this campground. Just, just saying. <laughs> so this is four. Number it's a four. luxury spot all on its own. It's got nice room for your rig. It's got a picnic table made of concrete. It's got a lovely grill. It blocks you from the streets and you get beautiful, beautiful mountainous views with the sun shining in your face and the views behind your bottom. There it is. Look at it <laughs> coming around and then the sun shining yeah, right in. Sun. Oh, that's, there it is. Absolutely beautiful. There it is. <laughs> Just like Tanya said, 45 minutes from Las Vegas. You can come coming up here, get in the snow, be in the middle of Ponderosa Pines. I mean, this is beautiful and super peaceful. I mean, just look at that. So nice. Oh yeah, I mean, all these one spots over. are really nice. I will yeah. say the the ones on the uh, on the kind of the left side as you drive in tend to be shadier. Yeah. The ones on the right side tend to be the sunnier side, right? Yeah, so. and FYI, for those that are curious, I think the only thing they have here are power. There's no water, there's no dump. So it's just power. No water, no dump, just the power. Now one thing about the site we're in, we're a bit far from the uh, the bathrooms and there's no, there's actually no waste area here. So I gotta go to the bathrooms to dump the cassette. So, time for a little trip with the cassette toilet. Oh, you're using the bathroom? Don't use the bathroom. Uh, Tanya says she's in the bathroom there, so I better let her finish first. <laughs> okay, now it's ready. We are off with our uh, little suitcase toilet. Here we go. All right, babe, you can eat more beans now. I don't think so. I'm all tapped out. You can build a snowman. Oh, yeah, the snow, it's very, it's a dry snow. Look at 
Right? Does it look like it's snowing? It's snowing. It's a blizzard. It's a snowing Christmas day. It's a snowing blizzard. Snowy Christmas. Well, you know what's funny? Think about this. If you want to have a snowy Christmas in Las Vegas, just leave it about 45 minutes and come up to Mount Charleston. You'll have a snowy Christmas. Exactly. It's a white Christmas here. Uh, I mean, I for one day, I wish it would snow in Vegas just on Christmas. Just one day. I'm dreaming gotta, of a white Christmas. Oh, we have to talk to the heat miser and cold miser. That's they true. They got to strike a deal. That's true. Ah, well, good evening, good evening. I have my fireball whiskey in hand because it's cold out here to keep us warm. And tonight, we actually have something a little bit special we're gonna be making for dinner. I found some really nice American Wagyu beef. So we're gonna make some juicy, delicious hamburgers. But Dave, I got a special topping for us. Oh yeah, what's that? Yeah, it's mac and cheese. Mac and cheese I'm on Wagyu beef. Monster mac burger. That's, it's just gonna be a monster that burger. That sounds like a combination made in heaven. <laughs> exactly. Well, it really is, but I have a job for you right now. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's kind of cold out here. My fingers are getting kind of numb, so I can make those perfect patties. I think you should take everybody over there by the fire. Get it started and get them warmed up so we can warm our fingers and toesies. What do you think? Sounds good to me. I got this. All right, get over there. All right, now it's time to start the grill. Let's light it up. Wow, Dave, that is a toasty, warm looking fire. That, that's some dry wood. That wood's been sitting in Vegas for like a year since Has last it? winter. Yeah, this is some leftover wood for last winter, so it's like super dry. Wow. All right. All right, thanks, baby. Yeah, of wow. course. Glass of vino for you. Excellent. Oh my gosh, this fire feels so warm. It's nice, right? I mean, what, what a way to. To deal with this, we had a leak, we got it taken care of, <laughs> no, and no. now we're here enjoying the brisk, cool weather, the snow and fire and wine with the person I love the most, my love baby. Love you so much. Love you. Very nice. Cheers. Mm. You know, I was really almost sad that we weren't going to be able to do this with that leak issue that we had. No, I know. But I was, I was definitely worried. I was devastated. Right. And, yeah. um but we pulled it together, we got it fixed, we assessed it, like true RVers, man. And now <laughs> right. we're here in the snow, like we wanted to, and just around this beautiful fire. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, look at that. It's what's for dinner. It's what's for dinner. It doesn't, look, it doesn't look appealing like that, but it will once it's on the grill. Oh, it looks appealing. All right, so you might be wondering, well, how the heck did you come up with mac and cheese on top of a burger? Well, the reason is because David asked me, do we have cheese? And I was like, no, we don't have any cheese, but we do have mac and cheese. So I'm gonna actually just whip up some mac and cheese and we're gonna just pile that puppy right on top of the burger. It's gonna be like some Vegas gourmet burger joint that would probably charge you like a hundred bucks for that burger. So, hey, why not whip it up? What is he doing out there? Is that his dance to stay warm? Dave, Dave, what are you? Oh my gosh, you guys. That is Dave's new dance to stay warm. <laughs> he just caught me filming him. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Masterpiece. Does that not look like a crazy burger? Yeah, it looks like it. It's a crazy burger. We can kind of maybe just call it the crazy burger. The crazy burger. Crazy. 
There it is. Coming Look at that. It's coming in the smoke. Coming to focus. It's like it's like a hundred fifty dollar burger. You get all the, you even get like the oak smoke in exactly. there. Exactly. Mm. All right. The moment of truth. This is a uh, one uh, serious burger Look patty. I got I mean, your that thing, fork. I think it's about two inches thick. There we go. <laughs> moment of truth. Oh, that's it's good. Fun. That it's good. good. It's very juicy. Ooh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Juicy. Let me see that inside. Look that's good. You might want yours cooked right. a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want my food. I think we'll put it. We'll cook yours a little bit longer. Thank you. But, but I'll enjoy it. Thank you, baby. Thanks, hon. It's awesome. Mm. Let me see that. All right, so I have to explain really quick. I used regular bread also because we didn't have buns. So <laughs> no cheese and no buns is wheat, toast bread, and mac and cheese. All right, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. It's good, huh? Oh, it's so good. It is really juicy. Oh, that is really good, hon. Well, nice job, babe. You made them. Me too. Good teamwork. Thanks, hon. Love you. Love you. Mm. Movie night tonight? Oh, hell yeah. Hell oh, yeah. I'm excited. Mm. Man, what a nice night, huh? Oh, it's so nice. What? Did you, did what you is hear that? something? I thought I did. Are you kidding me? I kind of have my back to the... This, are you kidding me? Wait a second. Hey, get, the get the flashlight. Get the flashlight. You see anything? I don't see anything. I don't. Oh my god. What is it? Wait. What, what is that? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, what's up you guys? So Dave and I slept really well in desert snow. The heat worked flawlessly. The last time we were up here, the heat had some issues, but it was working so well and we slept like babies. And today we're very excited because we're gonna do something we really, really enjoy and that's snowshoeing here. So we're gonna bust out the snowshoes and head into the trails and I can see Dave coming right now with the snowshoes. I got the snowshoes. Woo! All right. You excited, babe? I am so Woo! excited. Okay. Uh, but first, what? I have to tell you something, and I think it's really important. What's that? So I was talking with the ranger, um, and she told me something that made me a little nervous. That there were two, not too far from here, on the Fletcher Trail, there were two mountain lions fighting. Two mountain lions fighting. Wow. Yeah. And then just not that long ago as well on the news, right uh, probably along the road, there was a mountain lion eating wow. a deer carcass. Like eating a deer carcass. So hopefully we have our axe. We have the bear spray. <laughs> and I don't smell like yesterday's hamburgers because right. that would be a little nerve wracking. So back in mountain lion country. Back in mountain lion country. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep your eyes open. Mountain lions. Mountain lions. <laughs> So I'm in charge of filming this part while Dave puts on the snowshoes for us. And our important feature to have are the sticks. You right. gotta have your snowshoe sticks. Isn't that right? Exactly. The, <laughs> Isn't that right? Exactly. Have your snowshoe poles. poles. Right, not enough snow this year, right, babe? No, not at all. Now it is earlier in the season for sure. Yeah, but the difference between the last time we were here, the snow's much softer. The last time I felt like it was super icy. It was super icy. You had to find like unblemished uh, snow that was yeah. kind of softer. And I'm now going to keep my a lot of footprints, but I need to keep an eye out for mountain lion prints because. Well, yeah. we just we just heard from the the host of the RV of the campground that actually there's babies around, baby mountain lions. I know. So they saw like what a baby going across the road the yeah. other day. So they're out here. They're definitely out here. Remember that steep hill we went down a year ago? We kind of went tumbling down. I remember that. I mean, if we could find the clip, insert it right here. You're not there, Tanya. Um, I, I fell. <laughs> no, you're just relaxing. I actually, no, I fell. You're I relaxing. Fell. Yeah, I fell. Because you took a little spillage. I did. 
Here we go. Ready, I'm baby? I'm going down. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, oh! Look at <laughs> Dave! <laughs> But you were fine. This is like a belly flop. It was graceful, I think. It, it was. I still gave it a 10. <laughs> Your eyes, there's a bit of light. Could it be you and I? Could it be you and I? Wow. Look at the size of this ponderosa, babe. I know. Look how big and cuddly. Oh. Oh, you aren't? I always knew you were a tree hugger. <laughs> Cut red-handed. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci, go! Hey, baby, see those tracks down there? No. Yeah, those are uh, no. pretty good-sized tracks. Not sure what no. those might be. And they're in, and they're in twos. <gasps> no, oh. no way, no way. We are seeing quite a few tracks around here that look kind of like that. I'll tell you, you quickly forget that you are still up about 7,000 feet. Oh. And I'm feeling winded, aren't you? Oh, I, I definitely feel the altitude. Now no I doubt know, about it. I would probably say we could go up there and hike a little bit more, but it's starting to get dark. I'm getting nervous. I thought I saw some possible tracks. I'm not even trying to get close to them in that crevasse down there. Right. But um, I think we may have seen a couple of prints that may have looked like them. And because it's getting dark, I think we should head back down. But remember up there, wouldn't believe it. it's like a, a triple diamond. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I do. It was kind of pretty. Oh yeah, the last winter we had an amazing snowshoeing experience out there. We did. Babe, what do you find down there? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Actually, I was a real, I was afraid at first because it looked like those could have been like those could have been mountain lion prints. And we're kind of getting higher and higher. We are. There's probably less and less people. It's like we're it's like we're really trying to find one. Unfortunately, there's a lot of human prints here, but there's some prints like that over there. I know. Well, I look. I look at those, those prints. Huge. It reminds me of what we saw in Utah. Where we saw those. We know those are mountain lion tracks. I know. That could be. Yeah, well, I'm getting scared. Yeah. Look, look, we have a long way down. We're down a little gorge yeah, we're, here. we're kind of down. <laughs> it's, it's blown out. Let's move. move <laughs> now, is this not the life, guys? I mean, come on, look at this place. This is unbelievable. Now we're 45 minutes outside of Las Vegas. I know I've said it before, but just incredible. And to come up here with Tanya, uh, it's just amazing. We love this stuff, living the RV life up here in the mountains and the snow. It's perfect. She's inside now actually making a great dinner. It's gonna be another special night. I can't wait for it. All right, so I am about to make a nice late morning breakfast brunch today outside, but I, I wanna share something with you really quick. Let me just put this down, I'll be right back. Just look how beautiful the snow, those mountains are. It's just, it's awesome to be here. Can I say how great it is to be up here at Fletcher Campground in the snow and not have the worries of the heat issues? Because you remember last year we were here, it was like we had some serious heat issues and it really kind of took the true pleasure of enjoying being out snow camping in the RV. It made it like this, but this year it's like this. 
this. So can I, can I get a high five? And it's actually the cat's first time in the snow. Well, looking out the windows in the snow. So I think it's really, really cute that they could be here with us for this awesome rejuvenating experience. Now I better get that late breakfast started because I've been pushing it for a while because I've been filming and working all day and I think Dave's pretty hungry, so. Hi, fun, we'll see you at breakfast. Thank you, baby. Yeah, you're welcome. This is, uh, I don't deserve this. Yes, you do deserve <laughs> no, it. Thanks you so always much. deserve it. Thanks, baby. Oh, you're welcome. Really appreciate it. Yeah, I think we do a little turkey sausage and... and you cook them just the way I like them. All right? All right, perfect. Yeah. Thank Come you. Up. Give me a kiss. Aww. I love you. Mm -hmm. So cute. I'm really thrilled. This turned out to be a great trip. Oh, yeah. I was just telling everyone over here that this turned out to be amazing because we didn't have any heat issues this trip. I know, right? Last so, time we were here, the heat issues were a thing. I know, that was crazy last time. And now they're not. Just an amazing trip. Just love getting up here. Always, always nice getting a little away from Vegas sometimes to kind of get into the mountain air. Mm, always. Here, ladies and gents, time to pump you up. Come on, I'm ready for you. I'm ready for it. Did you hear that? I did. Yeah. Just put one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking up the hill. Are you still alive, GoPro? It's alive! It's still alive. I'm alive and the GoPro's alive. Now there are quite a few of you here that don't know that Dave and I really do enjoy snow camping. And although our camper van Desert Snow can take us to quite a few places, there are places he can't. We sometimes swap our camper van for hunting camping and it goes a little something like this. So it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be really cold this evening. So in order for us to get to these spots, we're gonna to have to put on the snowshoes. So it's time to find the perfect spot. Babe, I think right here is perfect actually for the tent. Yeah? Yeah. Right in that spot there. It's pretty level. Yes, it looks level. It looks very shady, but it looks level. Quite a bit of snow here. Yes. So we gotta dig it out a little bit. Oh, that's right. We do need to dig it out. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. All right, so do you know how, how much we're gonna dig? Cause it's pretty deep snow. Yeah, I don't know yet. I wanna give it a try. I'm gonna try on the uphill side and see how far I can go down reasonably. Yeah. And then uh, come out from there. I don't wanna dig this side first yes. and realize I can't dig out the uphill very much. Right, it makes sense. So right. we're gonna dig back, back that back direction. There. Okay, we'll dig in that direction. And the plan first. is have the, have the hot tent here have our little toilet area behind. Got it. It will connect right to the back door. Got it. It's gonna be cool. Sounds great. All right. All right we both have shovels. Let's get. Let's get yeah. to them. Let's get started. <laughs> Here we go. One thing I forgot to mention, we are in Utah, the upper echelons here, about 7,000 feet up, and it is absolutely beautiful here. I just did this so I could take a break from shoveling because that snow is deep and it's hard work. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Uh, a lot of shoveling. My arms, my right? legs. 
You look strong like that. Perhaps you got to ice our, uh, ice our arms and back. I, I massage yeah, your arm. You. <laughs> nice job. All right, up next. A lot of digging. It is. So but, I think now it's uh, this guy right here. Yep. Lug him up the hill and see how he fits. Yeah, but we got to get this guy into that sled and up that up hill. That hill. <laughs> High five, let's do it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Me too. <laughs> High five. High five. <laughs> All right, time for the old. Time for the hand 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 Here we go. Warm it up. All right, babe. So I'll go first. Okay. You'll do the first leg, and then I'll do that second leg. That sounds good. There we go. <laughs> time to pump. It up. You pump, up. Pump you up. Here we go. I keep those abs tight. Yes. I can do like a workout video. Here, ladies and gents, time to bump you off. Can I hear the air compressor? Can I hear the tent starting to come up a little bit? I think you think by now we learned our lesson after a few pumps. This is a lot of work, so I think it's time to bust out the new toy. So what you got there? That's a little air compressor, baby. <laughs> We're moving up. We're moving up. High five up. All right, ready? All right. Let's see Crank how it does. that puppy. Let's see if it works. Oh, it's rising. It's rising. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. It is working. Look at that. I see a little oh, movement. <laughs> and there goes the exercise. And there goes the exercise. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Well, you know, we are lugging up a lot of stuff. Oh, no, we're working hard. From below to we bring are, it up here. We are working hard. So might as well have a little bit of break in something, huh? I agree completely. No. Forget that. That compressor sucks. I think it's better, much faster if you do it with the hand crank. Going back to the hand crank. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. That's great. That's good. Now it's time to decorate. All right. Hey, babe. Yeah? Got the rug for you. Oh, cool. I gotta be careful. Yeah. You got it. There you go. Oh, thank you. Well, this would add some more weight in here. Yes, exactly. All right. Perfect. I'll go grab some of the other stuff. High five, ah! High five, Low five. Low five. Perfect. <laughs> I got it done. Okay. Coming at you. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're literally tossing me the pillows. Coming I'm literally you. tossing. <laughs> nice. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for it. Woo -ha! Hiya! Woo! Watch this one. Look at ya! Oh, nice one. A little ninja star action. <laughs> Oh, do not. There you go. Mommy. Oh, that's precious. My precious. Thank you very much. All right. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. The little air compressor failed miserably on the uh, actual tent itself. Did not blow it fast enough. But I would love to see and hope it does well blowing up this air mattress we have because blowing it up with this bag is interesting, but it's sucks it's terrible all right so let's see round two is it gonna work any better oh boy oh boy this could get very interesting let's see oh there it goes we found the solution the solution it works so well it works dave Eureka! What up? How does it look nice? Does it look finished and complete? It looks, looks awesome. nice, right? It looks great. Now I just gotta set it up. Yay! Oh, you brought a good load. Good load of good stuff. All right. I think I'll set up the toilet back here in the back. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. No, this way it's just... a little higher. So Ooh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can dig out a little bit here because don't want any mistakes. Yeah, right. it's kind of downhills. You don't want any yeah. of that good stuff floating on the tent. Exactly. <laughs> Put it in on the tent. We don't have any surprises. No surprises. All right. 
Time to put the base layer on. Very nice. All right, Grogi. Time for you to set up the pillows. Nice job, Grogu. Oh my gosh, look how much snow is there. What you got going on over there? I built a little uh, outdoor campsite for us. So we can actually have a little uh, fire in the solo tonight. Oh, so that hoping. would be really cool. A little work done. Yeah. Here we go. We got the fire going here. Take your seat. That looks really good. Take oh, your seat. Looks nice. Looks cozy. Hopefully now I can get a little closer. All right, a little closer. All right. Ah. Uh, can kind of warm up your uh, wet sock floozies. Yes. Mm. Mm -mm. Fried socks. Fried socks. Mm. So today took a lot longer than we anticipated because of the fact we're in this snow. And so Dave and I had to trench out just enough so we can pack it down. And that took some time because every time we maneuver to another spot, another spot would sink. And so we finally got to a position where we're really happy with it. He's got the, the solo out there fired up so we can kind of warm up. And now I think it's a perfect time for some cocktails and dinner and a movie because that, oh my gosh, I wasn't sure if we were able to do this. Like after a while, I was like, whoa, it keeps sinking here. It keeps moving here. Now I know we can. And we got the heat cranking, so it should start to warm up in here in just a minute. <sighs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. All right, wine's coming out. Tiny's getting the wine. Vino. Oh, vino. Excellent, baby. Nice by the fire. Glass of vino. Absolutely. Oh, that looks really good. Look at that right? thing. Oh, yeah. It's raging. Fired up. <laughs> so <am> I. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's a little, it's not the uh, smoothest like ground, that. unfortunately. I'm kind of like on a cliff. Yeah, it's, it's not the smoothest. <laughs> it's like, I'm on a little cliff here. <laughs> yeah, do you want to go up on this side? No. <laughs> You're looking out. Yeah. We, it's like we are in mountain lion country. Yeah, we're in mountain lion country. The moonlight. The moon's incredible. It's really giving like a nice. Kind of nightlight. Right. Thank God. Thank you, Moon. Do you see that moon? Look at that moon. There it is. Look at that. It's amazing. It's Beautiful. Ah, I'm gonna pour you a nice glass. Drink it. I'm drinking. Thanks, baby. You're welcome. And this is great wine. I love this stuff. I love this. Cheers. You're a great night. It's a wonderful night. Wonderful night. To my amazing wife. Yay! And my incredible husband. I love Thanks, you. Babe. Love you so much. Cheers. That. You know what the best thing about the wine too? I'm like nervous. I don't care what you tell me because the fact of the matter is we've seen a couple of things out here in Utah Vale, like a kill on the lake. I know, no, exactly. I mean, we, we went snowshoeing and there was a big bloody spot, a big spot big bloody on the spot lake. On the lake. And we saw and there a lot of mountain lion prints. A lot of mountain lion tracks, yeah. So, you know, I'm a little on the nervous side, but you know, you got that big old bear spray. I do yeah, have the bear spray. <laughs> we, we have many knives. And it's, it's kind of light, but this helps to calm down some of yeah. the nerves. Cheers. Now, one thing I do like to do, babe. What? Uh, I do like to scan around here and make sure there's no eyeballs looking back oh, at us. I don't know. I don't see any. Do you see anything out there? Stop it. I'm not, that's scary. Oh, that's not scary. I'm just having fun. Okay, nothing out there. I do love how we're like level of the snow looking over. Oh, yeah. With the moon glow like all over. Oh, totally. The snow. It's totally. like really cool. I feel like this is definitely one of those nights, you know, this was a, a challenge for us to oh, kind of yeah. be able to, to see if we can actually do this. Because this is, this is like next level. Like seriously, like <laughs> you know, we, it took us so long to set, to set things up. up and, and make the and camp. And make it, make it the way we right. are comfortable in it. 
Like it's so quiet. You can hear like a pin drop. Okay. Like literally. The good thing is it's so quiet you can hear Mount Lion. Mount Lion's oh, walking. Wait. Oh, okay, that's arriving. Stop it. One more check, eyeball check. Stop it. <laughs> so You're kind of setting it up that we're gonna eventually see us some eyeballs. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so nice and warm in here. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, I'm gonna do a little flip a rosy. A little sit a little <laughs> Really I'm nice gonna bit. start some dinner. How about some soup? That sounds awesome. You got it. Thanks, hot. Tonight is going to be simple soup, lentil. Sounds lentil. good to me. Super. Soup in a movie. And then uh, if we'd like, I do have some hot chocolate. Mm. Long day. We mm. worked pretty hard. You kind of. This is where you can tell the slope of it. Clearly, the slope is going that way. Yes. Right. You there can see in the slope. soup. Mm, but the soup is delicious. Yes. Mm. It's nice. Very. And it's so warm in here. Nice comfort food. What was that? Did you hear that? I did. What is that? Is that like coyotes? We have coyotes around. Yeah, there's some coyotes out there. Woo! You hear them. Hear them howling outside. <gasps> We're fine, right? We're definitely fine. We'll see if we can actually get some. Hear some of them here in the. Uh, Oh my gosh. Whoa, what was that? That was the stove. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say. Hoo -yah! Hoo -yah! Hoo -yah! <laughs> yeah! Are you supposed to make noise? You're doing just fine. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to be there. fine. We're going to be fine, bit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so after we had our little big scare of <laughs> sounds outside. The coyotes. Yeah, so what do you say? We kind of make some popcorn and watch a movie? I love it. That sounds great. Now, not everything is cozy in our cozy hot tent or outside our cozy hot tent. For example, we have a little uh, chilled toilet seat over there that uh, has frost on it, so... You have to go in the morning. May not be uh, the coziest toilet bowl. Gotta heat that up a little bit. So Tanya's making some breakfast. I actually started the solo fire pit here, make it warm, nice little warm breakfast out here. And we're gonna try some sledding down that hill behind me. So uh, we have to uh, kind of scout out some pathways. Now in the morning time here, it's been it was really cold overnight, so everything's icy. So we got to uh, be a little careful with our sled make sure we have some control over it coming down that pretty steep hill. I got breakfast. Oh man, that sounds awesome. Yeah, does it smell great? <laughs> All right, uh, breakfast on the uh, wood stove, huh? Breakfast on the wood stove. Nice. I made our cheesy eggs this time. That sounds with awesome. With a little uh, nice mandarin on the side. Slept well, right? almost. Little little creepy sounds throughout the night got me really nervous for a yeah, while. Yeah, we had the coyotes. We had something walk by, we didn't know what it was. Yeah, something Either walk by. Either walk or fly, I'm not sure. You ready for some sledding? I think when it heats up on the slope a little bit. I'm ready. I have a feeling it's going to be like a Chevy Chase moment again. It's going to fly him down. It's going to fly him down. It might be. Right now it's icy, so it's going to fly. It's going to fly. Perfect time for some sledding. But we got to walk up this hill first. It is really warmed up today. So the uh, snow on top has become really wet and kind of slushy. We'll see. I still think it's going to move pretty good though. The sled, we'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, GoPro went a bit wild, but I'm still here. That's a lot of fun. It's my turn. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. You got it, you got it. Oh my gosh. Nice and easy. Oh, my God. oh, oh. oh nice job. There you go. Hey, all right. You got it. Nice job. Oh, my gosh. I did it. Woo. I think I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Woo. Just put one foot in front of the other. Ready to go? Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa! Look at him go! Oh my gosh! Dad! <laughs> oh man! Whoa! Oh, I think I busted the GoPro. Are you still alive, GoPro? It's alive! It's still alive! It's still alive! I'm alive. The GoPro's alive. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Here, cup of squat, uh -huh. take a seat. Time for some uh, joint sliding, maybe sliding together. Oh my gosh, I have to say, I had the most incredible time with this experience and it's only the beginning. I can't believe we're uh, about to leave this beautiful spot. I know, it's, it's like a winter wonderland here. Amazing, yeah. so beautiful. Oh well, all right, off to the next adventure. Go, yeah. go. <laughs> was it to set up oh it's amazing very impressed it's so right? funny come on i thought it would take longer to pump up than it did right we were kind of you started it right and of course you, at the beginning you don't see anything really moving so you think oh this is gonna take forever to pump up then all of a sudden it's like boom, just yes. like rises up that's a great babe oh my god mm. huge win right there it's awesome love it babe <laughs> it was really good. Like this is awesome. This is so and perfect. You can soak it up too. Yes. I got oh my god. nice bread to soak it up. Big time. Ah. It's got a nice rich aroma. Yeah, right. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Good morning, good morning. And we are very, very excited about what we are gonna be experiencing today. You know, if you've been following us this far, we've done quite a bit with our RV, not as much as we would have liked to currently because of the fact that we're still working on getting his heat fixed. But, you know, we were just talking about how awesome it is to be able to kind of see the country through this perspective of RVing. And at the same time, we love hiking, we love doing different things. And we know desert snow can only get us but so far in certain instances. So we figured a really great way to enjoy other aspects of the country where desert snow can't take us is by doing some tenting. And not just any type of tenting, but hot tenting. And we are no strangers to tenting as we are, you know, originally from Northern New England. So this is just something that we're really excited about adding. Oh, and I see Dave over there uh, to our our story, our adventure, and I'm hey excited. Yes, I'm excited. Hey, you babe. Your coffee. Hey, babe. The uh, I think the hot tent's ready to set up. We uh, got the campsite ready to go, and it's supposed to set up really easily, which is why we got the inflatable tent. So. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, so let's get out there and do this in the snow. In the snow. That's how we roll. Cheers. It's a little icy. Absolutely. Yeah. Watch out for the weight, babe. Oh, right. Yeah. It's not the lightest. No, it's definitely it not the lightest. Heavy. What is it, like 65 pounds? It is about 65 pounds. All right, so that's that's where we're gonna set it up right here. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Hey, babe, can you help me for a sec? Sure. Just trying to get this uh, 
our tent line. Maybe grab okay. that side if you could. So I think what we'll do is try, yeah, let's flip it around. Okay, so I'll take, I'll grab this into here, you walk, and you'll walk that way. Yeah, so which way do you want to go, Bet? I'm gonna go this way. That sounds perfect. Right, ready, go. Here we go, here we go, bring it around, right around. I'll stay off the ice skating path. Exactly. Whoa, like that. Perfect, that's excellent. Nice. High five. High five. Uh. Nice teamwork. <laughs> It's like pumping up a bike. <laughs> oh, this is a two-person job here. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna share some of that. Woo! Good woo. exercise. Oh, I like it. And he ho. Oh. Kind of inspiring when you see it uh, going up like that. Oh, totally. Right? Here we go. Oh yeah, definitely getting a little harder. I think we got it, baby. All right, you want to unhook it? <laughs> Come on. Want to unhook and put the top on? Uh, sure. Yeah. All right, what you doing there? Well, so apparently there's a layer of ice. I'm trying to get through there just for the stakes. See if I can uh, break through it. Okay. So you got to get through. I, think what I, need, I need something to actually pull. I think what I need is some rope that will go across the top. That's what I need. Wow, Dave, this looks really good. Really good. You did a great job out here. You too, babe. Yeah, I <laughs> think I think I think I got to start getting things ready. Here, first the, the oh, first first pine, pine, first pine cone. cone for the tent. Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's got that nice right? pine smell. So I'm gonna put that in there once we get things decorated. But I'm gonna start working on the inside. Okay. And then we should uh talk about what we're gonna have for din din. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely hungry. Yeah, I agree. All right. <laughs> Off the shoes. <laughs> ah, lots of comfy pillows. There. Hey, I'm looking forward to stacking that right now. Bring me that bag. That looks amazing out there. Some new lights here. Hopefully, uh, this should give us a good illumination at night. Uh, might make it a little bright, but technically, you should be able to adjust these to keep it warm. Warm lighting in here. about to have a little lunch so i made um ham and cheese for lunch yeah, it looks great and if yes perfect you can grab Some maybe water, you just grab two waters yeah sounds good man Be nice we'll save the wine for later yes definitely maybe with a little movie night definitely. inside the tent it's gonna be beautiful because last last night i heard it was a full moon oh yeah no it is and so tonight if it's a full moon just imagine having our tent with those skylights and that moon. Would you like a little uh, mayo? That'd be awesome. Okay. I was a little heady there. Yeah, but you're hungry. Ready. You're hungry. That's okay. I'm hungry. I gotcha. <laughs> hungry mom. Hungry mom. Hungry mom. I this love it. Is... I love it. Like, you got like a skylight. The sun's like shining on my face. I know. It's like, how get cool that, is that? Get that little vitamin D rolling in there oh for you. Oh my God. 
Isn't that nice? Amazing. Look up at the uh, ponderosas. Yes. Up there. Mm. Amazing. Yeah. That's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be great. And how easy was it to set up? Oh, it's amazing. Very impressed. It's so right? funny. Come on. I thought it would take longer to pump up than it did. Right? We were kind of, you started it. Right. And of course, you, at the beginning, you don't see anything really moving. So you think, oh, this is going to take forever to pump up. Then all of a sudden, it's like, boom, just yes. like rises up. Like, and, it, and then it's like, these things get really solid, solid. quickly. Solid. That's it cool. really almost looks like a frame of a home yeah. that's set up in a way of a inflatable tent. Right. So it's uh, really like glamping at its finest. Oh, I, I love like the two doors. You got and also the amazing windows and too. the skylights and the skylights. Right. I mean, so that's gonna put you want some pickles on that puppy. Yeah. Oh yes, please. And plus, like the fabric, I feel like it's very breathable. We'll oh, find yeah. out tonight and oh, see yeah. if it gets humid in here. But oh yeah, it seems oh, yeah. breathable. Well, we got the good thing too is we kind of balance. We got the the buddy heater. Yes. Um, but we also have our wood stove, which should be nice and getting that real sort of camp feel, that smoky smell. And that will like um, definitely dry it up in here too, so it won't be as... As kind of condensation. Yeah, it'll dry it up. Yeah. It'll be a nice stew tonight. I'm gonna make like the potatoes nice and chunky. What do you think? Oh, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah? Uh, you're gonna make amazing dinner tonight Steve. i'm excited you know i love doing this like sort of remember uh, that time we were out in the open in uh, arizona where we had to make we, we couldn't do we had to do that goulash remember because we couldn't do a i do we, we wanted to hobo do dinner. a hobo dinner in the fire we couldn't have an open fire no but the inspiration of just being outdoors we came up with this great dish and it was just so wonderful it was great oh, I enjoyed it. Already, how do you say? Already cut up. Yeah, that's nice. So this way, those pieces are already in there. I want to saute that, and it's ready to rock for the heat. Maybe get that. Uh too. Yeah. As the night falls, the cold it's air comes into play. You feel the cold kind of you can start, in. It starts to creep in. Yes. Right? It's like, oh boy. There it comes. Here it comes. Is that little buddy heater, is that going to give us enough heat? Well, we'll find out. First time <laughs> using it. So here we go. But uh, but hopefully the wood stove will. Right? This yeah. is really a backup. So we wanted to have something. Well, you want the backup to work. Exactly. Let's try it. Here we go. So I got to hold this down. Okay. I got to start this up. Here we go. You see the flame down there? Oh, yeah. Going. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just hold it for a bit. And then it's lit. And now, boom. It's on low now. Oh, I see heat. fire coming out of that. Yeah. And it uses just a one pound propane. Oh, cool. Okay, that's great. You feel the warmth, though. You I, feel I start to feel oh, a little distraction. I'm, like, I'm like right uh, Yeah, for sure. It. And they have a safety, too. If it tips over, it's supposed to uh, shut off. Oh, that's great. I was, that was my question. Like, okay, yeah. what, what if the little looks a little wobbly though? Oh, what yeah, if it kind of yeah, does have, a tipsy Tuesday? We have like a little ice bedding that's not totally <laughs> flat. So you want to be careful. It's going to be a good night. High five. High All five. Right. All. <laughs> <laughs> this will be really nice. First time trying this. Dutch oven stew. Yeah, I'm totally psyched about this. Yeah, I think. So it tastes ooh. so good. This is like the perfect, I feel like it's the perfect like you know, cold camp dish. Oh, big you know, time. Beautiful stew. Big time. It's going to be nice and warm. And I think the way we kind of keep it warm is having it on the wood stove inside. Exactly. Later on, kind Absolutely. of keeping things warm. Definitely going to have a campfire tonight. I think outside would be nice. What do you got there, babe? Oh, okay. So I have to, uh, this is why I, we got this little trusty sort of knife here. Um, it's sort of a can opener and I did it with one, but I completely forgot like a traditional can opener. So 
I have to open up like my oh, beef, man. my beef broth. You're gonna MacGyver it. Yeah, so I have to kind of for a little MacGyver. Little MacGyver. Nice job. This works well. Fortunately, it's just a broth, so it's just like I gotta <laughs> open it this way just to get enough air. But good thing I'm doing it now because with this stew, I don't want to. You know, it's under like you can't you can't time everything perfectly when it's on like the open fire. You no. gotta go with the fire gods. You know what I mean? Boom. Yeah, right, right. there you go. That's so much. That's, You're doing that, it. That's actually better than I thought. Be careful. Don't, don't, don't cut your hand. Nope. Take your time. It's inside. Yeah. So I that was like an interesting step because, you know, with the heat, like we were talking about, you don't have a lot of time to get things going. You know, so I'm trying to time this stew based off of the recipe. And it's an hour, you right. know, and some change here for the whole, once everything's kind of in there. So I got like a few minutes to see the meat over there kind of bubbling and ready to rock. So the broth and all that stuff will kind of formulate next. I think the onions are going to be coming next That's once awesome. I brown mm, it. I can't wait to smell five that. five minutes to get those going. Awesome. And look at this thing is like, the Nomad's like kicking butt here. Oh, it's we're rocking. We're going to fire it up. It's cooking. It is the Dutch rocking. oven, yes. <laughs> rolling. Oh, oh, we're okay. It's time, we're time. It's time for the, uh, here I come the onions. It. And they're nice and browned. All right, so what I'm going to do now, get the onions that we chopped up earlier in here. Nice the handle doesn't get hot. That's amazing. It doesn't get hot? Yeah, no, that handle just not got, didn't get hot. Wow. I'm uh, surprised. I know. Maybe how are you holding up? You shake, you shake a little bit over there. <laughs> yes, I tell you. Cooking okay. outside in the cold, it's really cold right now. Got to kind of stay over the, uh, the grill or maybe yeah. head over to that fire. I think I'm about to head over to the fire because right? this has to simmer for about one hour. Oh, okay. And then once this, once this is kind of a, with that, just look at that. Just, just look at that. Yeah, it looks good. Oh. Kind of simmer away in there. Now that's an hour. So I'll set the timer for an hour. Oh, this smells really nice. You did a great job on the oh. fire. Thanks, babe. I, I love campfires. I think kind of like growing up as a kid, you know, my dad would take me, you know, tanting, uh, you know, down the New Hampshire kind of mountains and everything like that and kind of set up that campfire. That's awesome. And for me, great memories. it was just the backyard. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> just a little camping in the backyard because my mom was always afraid to let us yeah. go. <laughs> but it was nothing great. Like that. this is, you know, we've done some of this up in the New Hampshire oh, area absolutely. as well. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, having one of our own and one that suits our needs i think that's actually a really great time i was oh. like i'm telling you you know how i was at first i was kind of like i'm not sure about this but the ease of that setting up oh. and how it fits perfectly for everything we need it just I oh it. it's awesome it's like because you see some that are like more survivalist but that's more kind of a little bit of glamping that's more survivalist glamping right survival. and it's the quality is awesome yeah and it's so easy like you said so easy to set up so so yeah. easy to set up i think it's like sun, yeah, sun mez outdoors or sun something. mez out hey i may be saying it wrong though sun mez outdoors right <laughs> i like that but we'll put a link down below i think so if folks are being checking check this out it might be helpful but i just find this is it's just spot great. on for us yes i mean spot on and guess what what movie night movie night movie night that's I awesome. brought the projection Ooh, screen. That's awesome. High five, babe. That's like perfect. That's like a right there. That that you just took it from ten right to eleven. Oh. Ten to eleven. Can I get an eleven dance? Uh 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 uh. Oh oh come on one more one more. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> <Ooh>. For our beverages. I, I love it. So compact. It's yeah, like, exactly. voila. <laughs> exactly. That's great. And these are our uh, beautiful wine sort of goblets here that came from uh, one of our Turn It Up World family members. Oh, that's really nice. They sent that to us, uh, to and our so, PO box. They're kind of fancier than what we have in uh, Desert, <laughs> Desert Snow. Desert Snow. They are, right? <laughs> yeah, these are like, those, are like, those are like silverware, right? Is that pure silver? I think oh, it might be. It's pure silver in color. Okay. Silver and gold. Old. Silver and gold. Oh, I don't know the rest of the words. I, I'm excited. High five. It's going to be a great yeah. night. So Movie nice. night's going to set up right behind oh, you once we so roll cool. out the beds here. Yeah. Oh, good. This is amazing. How's the lighting? Good? The lighting, everything's awesome. Yeah? I think it's awesome. I'm loving it. Like, this I'm is loving great. it. Yeah, it's cool.
I think we're gonna have a lot of like amazing adventures in here. I know. An amazing time. So, love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go out there, quick question. Sir. Sure. Um, do you want to have some wine now, or should we wait for dinner? I would wait for dinner. Okay. What do you think, babe? That sounds great. That sounds great. As far as you know. Nice Pinot Noir. Why don't you, with go, why don't you go finish dinner, babe, and I'll uh, take care of the wine in here. <laughs> That sounds Three, like a plan. I think we have another bottle, so. You got it. Nice job. Just pour it in. It'll come flowing out. Perfect. And just kind of spread it along there. Oh, it's coming at the bottom. Ooh. Nice job, man. Perfect. Just put Ooh. that in the snow. It's going to sizzle in the snow. Oh. Back away, Coles. Back now away. we're ready to cook a whole other meal. I feel, I know, right? Look at Ooh. those coals. Ooh. Keep us warm, though. Keep us warm. And this is just potatoes and carrots now. This is, this is, this is what's going to bring it on. Oh, man. It's going to be awesome. Stewy. Something about just a Dutch oven. Oh. <laughs> we are hungry too. Like we are. Very we have not eaten hungry. much today. No. Really, like very little. So we'll have good so size good. portions of this one here. Yes. Witch cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> What's oh. brewing today? Our oh, werewolves of London. Oh. Incredible. How yeah. beautiful you can see the snow up there and the stars. I can't believe I can see stars. I can't believe the shadows from the moon. I mean, this is all moonlight. The shadows well, not of all, the moon. but yeah, yeah, pretty much all moonlight. Yeah. yeah. It's incredible. That's like a full moon. Wow. Hey, babe. Yeah. Watch out for the mat in the front. It's very slippery. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to leave my shoes on. Yeah, definitely leave them on. You are forgiven. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. That is amazing. It smells so good, Dave. Wow, it no looks awesome. Idea. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are you re <laughs> Here we go. Look at this. Ready? Get a load. Oh my God. Get a load. That of is the incredible. Stew. That's incredible, right? That's there. just gonna have a lot of good, a lot of good flavors. You probably want to put a little additional salt and pepper on it, but for the most part, it's time to eat. It's perfection, right there. Let's eat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, it's right here. I think we're gonna so crack this open. Should we start with some wine? Damn right. Yeah, I like that. Oh, oh wait. Oh. It's a twister. What is a twister? Yeah. Oh, good. That's why I brought it. Yeah, that's smart. To make sure we have like an easy. Can't have a. There you go, babe. I guess it goes in our, our wine. Uh... Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. It's got a nice rich aroma. Damn right. It's gonna Ooh, be good. it's gonna be good. Well, to a wonderful night. Wonderful night, baby. First night. Hot tent camping. This is awesome. First night and under a full moon. Under a full moon. That's got to be a good omen. I love it. Cheers. That's amazing. Really down. good. <laughs> Eat mm. and enjoy. Like oh, a so, stewed, stewed beef, kind of like, you know. It's so tender. I mean, it's been cooking for, you know, two hours. About two hours. It's great, babe. Oh, my God. Mm. Huge win. Right there. It's awesome. Love you, babe. Kiss. <laughs> that's really good like this is awesome this is so perfect and you can soak it up too uh, yes i got oh my god spread to soak it up big time it's all the same and it's excellent and plus we're hungry so it's like that combination just it's like unreal unreal and again there's something about a nice beef stew yeah on a cold night right. like tonight i mean it's freezing out there yes. yeah i need a piece of bread it's really nice and it's hot <laughs> it's a right? hot stew mm. Dip that. Try that with the onions. Mm. How are you feeling? You cold? Actually, I don't feel bad at all. I got the. the yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of sitting on top of my sleeping bag because I figure if I sit on it, I'm warming it up. When right. I get inside, it'll be nice and toasty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And especially once we fire up the wood fire, I'm really curious how that does. Let's be sure we're gonna do that right now. I see a little 
Oh, there's a little smoke smoke puff this way. Yeah, that happens. Yeah? That happens. I'm amazed how much smoke comes out. You, my dear. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. It's awesome. I'll just let it steep mm, for that smell good. Right, that whole like Yeah. Just mm, It's just like the final piece to the day. Little chamomile tea. You got steam. Beautiful. Yes, it feels You're amazing. Beautiful. Love you, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. I put my jacket on. Uh oh. Because it got cold. Well, I let the fire run out. Yeah. So I gotta make sure I stay up and put that, keep that fire going. But the, these um, sleeping bags really kept me warm. Yes. Yeah, they're actually they're pretty toasty. Yeah, they are. I think, I think what I'm gonna do now to get extra warm is I'm gonna get up and uh, start making some coffee. That sounds great. Yeah. Yes. All right. Hey, you got extra warm. <laughs> <laughs> extra warm. <sighs> got some coffee for us. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh, you're welcome. Watch the ice here for sure. I know. I'd love to sit down, maybe kind of look over at the uh, beautiful mountains over there. Absolutely. This is a beautiful spot. Yeah. It's, it's really gorgeous. You know what's funny? I talked about this yesterday, right? It was like how easy it was to set up this tent. I'm wondering how easy it is to get back into that bag. That could be like a real test right there. Yeah, no, I'm a little afraid of that. Yeah. Right, I'm, so I'm, I know they had it rolled up super tight. It was super perfect. Right, so like, we'll see if we can get it back in there. So, <laughs> so, so. That's gonna be the I know, fun challenge. We'll see. But I will tell you, sleeping in that overnight just really felt like you weren't really in a tent. You kind of looked up oh, and yeah. you saw from the skylights, you saw the moon out. It was just beautiful. Everything was amazing. Oh, it was awesome. It was it was awesome just being in there with you. Just kind of, you really felt like you were glamping. Yes. Right? And, absolutely. You know, when the fire kind of kicked in, it was so beautiful. It really and was. And the movie. The movie. And I can't wait to cook in there. See you cooking on that, yeah. uh, on the stove. That's going to be really excited. nice. Yeah. I will tell you, this company, Sanmez Outdoor. Sanmez Outdoor out of Turkey. Yeah, out of Turkey. They nailed it. I know we yes. ended up, we ordered the smaller one and they sent us this larger one because they felt it might suit our knees better and they spot on nailed it. So I will make sure to put a link in the description box below so that if anyone that's watching this is interested and um, in checking out that company, they definitely should. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's, yeah. A, it's a great one. Yeah, and it was warm and toasty for a minute. <laughs> it was, yeah. I, mean, I definitely have to learn to manage the stove better because I kind of fired it up and then two hours later I woke up and it was freezing. Yeah. And this morning when you woke up, of course, I let, I let the fire burn down to, to uh, some embers. Yeah. So. It was, a good test. That. Yeah. it was a good test. We'll get better. But we'll it, get better at that. But you were testing like the temperatures because it got down to like yeah. low 20s out here. And you were saying something like it was like 30 yeah. degrees hotter. Yeah, than yeah. It, um, it was about 55 degrees inside when the wood stove going versus like, yeah, low 20s here. And like with the buddy one, it was like maybe 45. So the wood stove made a big difference. Yeah. And the sleeping bags too. Yes. I, once I, I came out of that sleeping bag, I was like, whoa, where yeah. am I? You kind of had a little <laughs> cocoon going on there. Exactly. All right. So let's wrap up. I, I think, what do you think? We should have finish this coffee and see if we can kind of absolutely put this thing back in that lovely little task. bag it Let's came in. Let's see how in. it goes. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers. babe. <laughs> Whoa.